go. We are rocking and we are rolling. So, we about to have fun. Laying it down here, we're going to show you some porno like you've never seen before. We got cum shots, money shots. We're going to blow some bitches' heads off. That's right. It's going to be awesome tonight. It's going to be dynamite. How do you feel about yourself now, stupid motherfucker? You could have had some pussy. Broadcasting live from high top stone head peak in the Blue Mountain Range, overlooking gorgeous downtown Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. It's the Jeff and Dan Show. It's Wednesday. Ooh. It's seven o'clock. Ah. It's time for the Jeff and Dan Show. Ah. It's the Jeff and Dan Show, and it is I, Dan, the Paul Revere of the Jeff and Dan Show. The Jeff and Dan Show is coming. The Jeff and Dan Show is coming. All right. The Jeff and Dan Show is coming. At the least Jeff and Dan coming. Show is coming. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Happy birthday, America. America turns 241. Happy 241st birthday, USA. And yeah. here's wishing you at least 241 more. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. From all across our great country, thank you for tuning in tonight, and thank you for helping us celebrate the 4th of July and the birthday of our country. It's, a, it's, a, it's going to be a very special 4th of July show here at the Jeff and Dan Show tonight. We have guests. Two wonderful young men are visiting and hanging out with us tonight, plus our usual list of crap things to talk about. So... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, humans and other life forms gathered around the family iPhone. Here he is, sitting atop his white horse. It's the George Washington of the Jeff and Dan Show. Everyone, please give a firecracker of a salute to the other cohort of tonight's show. It's Jeff. Hey, all right. Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> What's going down, man? Not much. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm not doing too bad. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't really... Do a whole lot of planning for this show because I didn't know where to go right, tonight. Exactly, yeah, and that was the thing is, uh, it's because you know it's it's going to be an interesting evening. I can I can just tell for the first time in recorded history, at least that I could find that no no information about this. First time in recorded history, a father is going to give the talk to his sons. That's going to happen right here on this show tonight. That's right. We're going to do the talk. So it should be informative. I'm hoping it's going to be informative for everybody, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, I know my wife is very, very freaked out about it. So uh, I just, I promised her, I said, you know, it wouldn't be a Jeff and Dan show regular thing. And we won't be over here, you know, cracking jokes too much. It'll be pretty serious, but uh, yeah, we're probably going to giggle a little bit. I know the boys <laughs> definitely will giggle <laughs> just a little bit, you know, so. Are they old enough? They are. Actually, they are, they are yes. Um, I, I did a bunch of reading uh, in psychological places, you know, these, these magazines like Parents and stuff like that, that said that um, the, the time to actually start beginning to get your kids to understand is when they have a knowledge of what might be happening, which is usually around six years old. So at six, you should start preempting them with certain things that you tell them. Mm. Now, my boys have older sisters, much older sisters, and they've been exposed to that stuff for God knows how long now. And the boys get told stuff, you know, explain stuff sort of uh, down the line. So, I mean, it's something that they're not, you know, they're not stupid about. <clears throat> but at the same time, they probably have questions. And that's really kind of what we're here to do. And they, they probably... Um got bits and pieces heard little bits here and there right and they just don't know how to fill in the whole fill in the details to give it a full full wider porno picture it's sort of sort of difficult to even talk about it with any kind of innuendos <laughs> <laughs> we could jam that hole right in there you know <laughs> no um yeah i mean it's it's definitely something it's it's a nervous situation and you know i've had this talk before with my kids and my wife had mentioned to me the the thought that when I had it with my daughters way back in like 2010, 2011, no, I think it was 2010, uh, I had to talk with them about it. I was really kind of upfront about everything. I didn't try and beat around the bush <laughs> 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 to, uh, when I was talking about it, I just came straight out. And, uh, the one thing apparently that I said that I didn't realize <clears throat> that the girls were going to take like a football and run with it was the fact that I was, that I was, that I was an infomaniac when I was younger. And they've kind of like, oh, yeah, you always love sex. Ah, you know, funny, funny. And then, you know, you know well, how uh, gross is that? <laughs> of course you may have had a 
larger drive than others. But what young man wasn't a nymphomaniac in his younger day? Exactly. Exactly. And that's the thing. And it's... I mean, you have this brand new sensation that you just discovered two times yesterday <laughs> in the bathroom. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and these these beings that were so weird to you before have formed tits. Yeah. And... Yeah. And at that point, things are different. They're totally different. They expounds. That reminds me of a joke. <clears throat> I, I have to I have to insert a joke here. Okay. Insert a joke. <laughs> Why does the little mermaid wear seashells? I don't know. She grew out of bee shells. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I like that. It was cute. It was <laughs> yeah, cute. Yeah, that's fun. <clears throat> that is fun. Yeah. So. so, well, let me ask you a quick question here, real quick. Okay. Who taught you? Uh, my mom. Okay. At nine years old. Okay. So it definitely uh, my youngest that will be in here tonight is nine years old. Mm -hmm. um, the youngest is nine. Yes. Oh, so the youngest is nine. So he's right at the right age, I believe. And according to many psychologists, he is at the right age to begin to explain this stuff because there's a point where after 10 years old, uh, you could start to develop, you know, your, pre your pubescent uh, era. You could begin, you know, getting the erections and blah, blah, blah. And that's the reason why it's best that, that they know about it before that actually ends up happening. Because if that happens, it's going to be like, what the fuck, you know, hmm. it, like, where did this come from? And why do I have this? You know, and why can't I get up at the board and, and write down the answer? <laughs> <laughs> come here, Jeff. We'd like you to answer this question. No, thanks. I take the F. <laughs> do you know who taught me? Who? Uh, when I was about nine, ten, okay. right around that age. Yeah. I had a friend one year older than me. Yeah. A girl. Yeah. And a friend one year younger than me. A guy. Okay. Who was my best friend at the time. Right. And... She did most of the teaching. She all she did was draw pictures. Oh wow! And she she probably grew up to be a slut, you know. Kind of looking back now, and yeah. why would an eleven year old girl be teaching a ten year old boy anything about sex? Yeah, you know. But you know, okay, all right, whatever. Um, nobody else taught me. Nobody else cared to t to to even show me anything. Right. And that's that's it. If if an adult doesn't. You better damn well believe there's a there's a classmate that will. Yes, and that's the problem, and that's the problem because what's going to end up happening is they're they have a better opportunity of taking it and understanding it from us than they would from a teacher. Plus, the fact that teachers are biased in that regard, they have to be able to teach one curriculum and one curriculum alone. You know. Oh, hey, look at that! <laughs> well, what you meant these these damn electronics? I know, right? <laughs> But no, the, uh, the, the, the curriculum that they teach is just one set thing. And my wife seems to think that's enough. My children don't seem to think that's enough. My daughters specifically have been like, oh, I learned so much more, not even in those classes. I you was going to say, man, the, the teachers are a one-size-fits-all. Exactly. Okay, exactly. this is what happens every month to you girls, every right. 28 days. Right. This drops, and these other things start to fall out, too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Until they hit your knees. And that's when you're 90, and then you're fucked anyway, so fuck it. You know, but no, I, yeah, exactly. It's my, my iteration of this situation is this. If you were to have a religious teacher, and she were to, or he were to teach religion, there would be a bias there. There would be a bias. They, you would learn probably very little about each of the religions, you would probably learn about the one that they believed in most. Yeah, yeah. My same thinking goes along with sex ed. Because you don't know, first of all, who you're getting to teach your child. Right, you know, right. is it going to be a guy? Is it going to be a girl or a woman or a man? You know, uh, if it's the case that it's, you know, boys being taught by a woman, are they going to take it seriously? Are they going to sit down and listen to that? Or will they have the fascination that I know they're getting ready to have where they're just staring at her tits the whole time? <laughs> And not ignoring everything else. What? Clit? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't tits that. I mean, see that. Um, <laughs> sorry. What? So, you know, that's, that's kind of the thing. That's my thinking behind it is, you know, that it's not well enough that the, you know, that the school has a program for this stuff. It really is a situation where we have to be those stronger people. And I know you might have been able to go through that the phase once where you had to talk to a child about what sex was and so nope. on and so forth. 
Okay, well then, here's your virgin opportunity. (laughs) This is your virgin opportunity and the virgin opportunity of virgin ears out there, people who might be listening. And and to be totally honest with you, man, I'm a little bit nervous. I I am. am. I've never been through this. Right, right. It is, it is, that's what I'm saying. It's not something that's simple. It's not something, because you're almost afraid of them as much as they're afraid of you. You know, like when you're trying to tell them this stuff, you and I can talk about this shit all night. It would never be an issue. Hell, we could have a serious conversation about it if we really had to. Or an unserious conversation. Right, which is more likely between us. Uh, and then, you know, the boys coming in and it's like, wow, they're these, you know, fascinated eyes of these children who, you know, glean, they want to learn. You know, they have this, this distinct, uh, you know, feeling and sensation that they have to learn stuff. Yeah, there's a void. The, right. They have this big brain with nothing in it. It's right. a void. Yeah, and I think that's what my, part of my wife's problem is. I don't know. I mean, she won't come <laughs> out and tell me that. nothing in it? No. <laughs> no, nothing. Just kidding. No. Um, I think she feels like um, she doesn't want to have this conversation with them because uh, she doesn't want them to, uh, no, oh, no other way to put it, but be de-virginized when it comes to knowing about this stuff. Because... Anything after today, sexual innuendo-wise, is right out the fucking door because they're going to kind of know what we're talking about now. So, does you know. does does your wife talk about uh, does she talk about the birds and the bees at all with the girls now that they're no. older and understanding? Um, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. But I mean, that we don't they don't go into great detail or anything, and they may tell us of their promiscuity or their you know their their adventures, <laughs> but they don't go into great detail. They just say, you know, well, we did it, you know, and in, in, in the back of the bus, you know, or some shit, you know, and then, yeah. My, so, my, yeah. my wife is uh, very open with our daughter. Yeah. Very open. Yeah. That's kind of the way it is. I mean, to an extent, it's that way. Um, Caitlin, my oldest here, uh, doesn't necessarily want to go too far um, explaining stuff to her mom, but she does tend to step over bounds sometimes and maybe gets a little too graphic for my wife. Me, I'm just like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, you ain't heard shit yet. Wait till I tell you what I did fucking two years ago. <laughs> That's right. It, it, it involved a, cho- a shock absorber and some penetration oil. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that car had it like she never had it before. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, what? Right? <laughs> Mm. Grab that yeah. car by the muffler. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> the five thousand SUX. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, that's what's on the agenda for tonight. And uh, but we have some time to get some stuff out of the way here. Okay. Have a couple of things to do, and right. uh, we have a new uh, Adventures of Letterman Ooh. to release tonight. Oh so. yeah. And then I also uh, I was working on a commercial um, a little bit early. I did. My wife's like, "Why are you spending so much time doing that stuff?" And I'm like, "Dude." I've got time to do this stuff and I'm usually doing it late at night, but I'm trying to get the stuff done for Jeopardy that you, you know, that you can use with ease. Um, But at the same time, I've I've been kind of running out of time to do other little spots, but I did finish the letter, this letter man version. And I did uh, find a really, really great commercial that I'd like to play. We didn't do it. They did it. And I pretty much announced that at the beginning of it, but it is it is funny. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. So, we'll, But we'll play that before we have the boys down. And I think we're going to have the boys down at around the 8 o'clock hour, if that's cool. So Cool with me. Yeah, that'll be about another 45 minutes for us to get through some stuff. So, all right, man, what do you got? Um, <clears throat> nothing. <laughs> no, all I have for this week, I have 42 questions for Liam and Declan. Okay. Each. Okay. And then the only, the only other thing I have is National Day. Okay. Like, today is National Paul Bunyan Day. Ooh. You remember Paul Bunyan? I do. In the babe ox. Or the ox babe. I know who he is, and I I don't remember hearing any stories about him. Really? Yeah, but today's Paul Bunyan today. Today's Paul Paul Bunyan Day. Huh. And does he know he has the last name of a very weird-looking foot uh, disorder? Yeah, I don't know. That's the really thing. Now here's the question. Which came first? The Bunyan or the Bunyan? Yeah, which Bunyan came first? Maybe it was he was de- created first, and then somebody said, "You know, being a giant that big, he's probably going to have problems with the sides of his feet. His old thing's going to crop up on his toes." And yep, we're going to go ahead and call those bunions. That's and then those little yellow areas that we can peel off of his big giant feet, we can eat those because they look like onions. So we're going to call those funions. 
<laughs> I, I've been calling them corns for years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere along the way, uh, he, uh, some um, company is bagging up Funyuns, and here where they have uh, him locked down, Paul Bunyan sitting there, and, you know, and they're tr- trimming off shit off his feet, making Funyuns. <laughs> Yuck, man. That's just Oh, wrong. no, that's not the Funyuns. That's just the seasoning. <laughs> that's just the salt. Damn right. Today is also National Insurance Awareness Day. Well, I'm aware insurance exists. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like to take a gun to my policy. <laughs> what, 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 why, do we even, what, why do we even need this day for? I don't know. I don't know. National I, Insurance Awareness Day. I don't know. It's, so, it's a very strange thing. Well, we created it to sell you $5,000 worth of term life. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. That's okay. bullshit. Anyways, tomorrow is Parchment Day. National Parchment Day. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to hang pepper pa- paper decorations. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's also <laughs> Almond Butter Crunch Day. I don't even know what Almond Butter Crunch is, but it sounds good. I think it's like that... Uh... Like peanut brittle, except for made with almonds. So, so it's a whole candy and not a topping. Yeah, I think it's actually a candy. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not 100. percent But well, no. I'm gonna have to find out because tomorrow is National Almond Crunch Day. There you go. It's also National Camera Day tomorrow. Camera. Ooh. Camera. Cameras have changed, haven't they? Yes, they have massively. And the other thing that has not changed, and it's National Day tomorrow, National Waffle Iron Day. Oh. Those haven't changed in 300 years. Wow. Yeah. They've been around for 300 years? I'm just guessing. Oh, okay. I, I don't know how they made waffles before, <laughs> but... Hey, Jamie, if he's through a... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Tomorrow's hey. also National Handshake Day. Huh. Now, I've had uh, milkshakes. But the... <laughs> <laughs> Never had too much caffeine, man. I get the handshakes all the time. <laughs> what the hell, man? Friday, June 30th, is National Meteor Day. Wow. Not meteor. My sandwich is meteor than yours, but <laughs> meteor as in thing that came from outer space. Right, an I mean, asteroid usually. Yeah, let me get this straight. Now, meteor is one that goes through the atmosphere. It's gone through the atmosphere. Meteor, yes. a meteorite is one that actually landed. Yes, and, one that you're and, able to find and successfully deboarded. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> got out. Said, "Fuck it, let's get out of here." What I want to know is, and I've seen them like in school and stuff. Somebody bring one in, or you go to a museum and there, there's this big giant rock. Like you know, the, it, the, it's like maybe about the size of a birthday cake, you know, or something. Yeah. How do they know that's a meteorite? Um, usually by the compositions. Yeah, but all right, you go out into a field and. You know, just just within one eye shot, you can find fifty rocks. Right, oh, that one's a meteorite. Right, but that's the thing. See, it's the characterization of what it looks like. First of all, it's probably going to have small pox in it, like little little areas that have been broken off. It's also going to be either super light or super heavy. If it's the super heavy kind, then you know if it's heavier than what it looks like, then it's definitely uh, more than likely a meteorite. Plus, the fact if you look around at the rocks that are around it, yes. Then you have an idea of, does this look like it came from this situation? So, I mean, but here's the thing. Imagine this. Uh, imagine there's this one spot on the planet where tons and tons of meteorites are found. Like like a whole bunch of them. But people also realize, hey, man, these are great filler rocks. So let's take these other places and, you know, bury them or whatever. Then the idea here being that they could be distributed around the world. And not most people wouldn't know that, oh, they had, these are meteorites. And unless they did that, you know, calculating as to whether or not it's full of specific types of stuff, like nickel is a really big one. Um, iron is another really big one. You don't normally find that stuff just sitting there in nature. You know what I mean? Another question I have is, is how do they find these meteorites? Is, okay, meteorite is a meteor is heading towards the earth right. at a very extreme fast pace. Yes. It enters the atmosphere at a very extreme fast pace. Right. As a result, that's how we see it from its lighting up from the heat and the, right. fi- and the friction. Our shooting star. It's, yeah. it's shooting star. Right. Exactly right. Now, when that finally gets to the earth, to the, to the ground, it doesn't just... Right. No, it's got to be buried in there, fifty hundred feet. Well, that, that's okay. Yes and no. You're right about that. It just depends on the deposits of what's inside this meteorite. If it is super, super heavy, like I was saying, then yeah, it will plummet right into the earth. 
But you need to understand that not all earth stays there. My backyard is not going to be permanently my backyard for very long. It's always going to whittle its way down because water, water comes in and, you know, gets rid of like the topsoil and stuff. Um, it's, it's not, an, it's not a slow process by any stretch or a fast process by any stretch of the imagination. It's really slow. It takes a while for that stuff to change. But, um, the, those that are not too heavy would do exactly what you said, hit the ground and just roll. Here's an example of how I know this is a possibility. Think of hail. Okay. If hail reached the terminal velocity speed, it would be like bullets falling out of the sky. You would get killed anytime you walked outside in a hailstorm. Just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Think about it. The, the typical size of hail is about the size of a dime. That size of a dime is about the same shape and size of, a, you know, about the same mass, I guess, as a bullet. But because hail is not that heavy, it doesn't have the same, you know, it won't reach terminal velocity speed, which is like, I don't know, 281 miles per second or something like that. I don't remember what it is. Um, yeah, so you wouldn't end up, you don't end up getting killed by hail. Now, it does a real shit job to your car. It sure does. Right, and it'll mess up certain things, you know, like um, a stainless steel grill out back of your, of your house may get little ping, you know, ding marks in it. Um, you know, uh, lawn furniture could get, you know, hit and, you know, stuff happen to it. Not necessarily destroyed, but it could, you know, something weird could happen. Um, but it's not something where the hail just in, immediately penetrates the ground. And it's coming from pretty far up there, if you oh, think about it, it yeah. from the troposphere, which is, you know, two layers up. So, yeah, we've definitely got to be able to, you know, realize that certain things when they come through uh, could potentially cause lots of damage. The other thing you don't hear about, too, is how is it that we can be so we, we've taken the planet by storm? We are the, the fleas of the earth, if you will. <laughs> How is it we can do that, but you don't hear more stories about the fact that a meteorite hit somebody's roof and just blew right through and right into their house? You see it on fucking TV. You I, see it in movies. Uh, you would have, yeah, Armageddon. Right. You would have to say that there, with the with the mathematical chances alone, somewhere, sometime, it had to have plowed into somebody's house. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has, but you just don't read about it. I've never, I've never seen an article where somebody was like, at least not one that I can remember because I'm getting older now, so I'm kind of like, eh, whatever. But I don't remember ever reading an article where somebody was like, this meter just shot right through my house and went right into my barn, you know, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's kind of weird in a way um, that you've never seen that, but I know it's happened. I know it has. You know it too. Stop well, lying. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. When I was a kid, I went to band camp. Yes. And I, <laughs> I had a meteorite in my pussy. No, that is right. Anyway. Tell me about your weirdest meteor story. Uh, weirdest meteor story. I actually have a chunk of meteorite. Do upstairs. you? Upstairs. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's a nickel meteorite. And I nice. found it. Uh, I don't, I'm not exactly sure where it's at right at the moment. It's got stored. I think it might even be down here. I'm not sure. Um, but I, Space yeah. Rock. I, I found it, yeah, and I was just like, "Wow, this is really wild!" Because it's like really super heavy. It's a little teeny tiny thing, but no bigger than a half dollar. And it's like, was it round? No, no, it's uh, it's actually um, kind of rectangular almost, but you know, rounded. So, um, but it definitely looked like it burned up in flight. So mm -hmm. you could tell it was probably a larger piece at one point in time. I was going to say, <laughs> I wonder how big it was when it start when it first got into the atmosphere. Yeah. Who knows? It could have been a mile across. Who knows? <laughs> That's the thing, too. And we have tons of, of spots on the planet. I, mean, they, I think there's like 10 or 15 places on the planet where we got hit by pretty big shit. Like a uh, really great example of that is the uh, the crater. I think it's out in New Mexico or Arizona. Arizona or Mexico, yeah. Yeah. It's like the, the crater is like freaking two miles across or some crazy shit. And you can, you can tell where it hit and then went into the ground, like as far as it possibly could. And that has to still be there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. And that's the thing, too. Um, they, they think like meteors like that were the ones that, uh, you know, drove the dinosaur population extinct. Because it hit the ground, exploded basically for the most part the ground, and then caught the air on fire, and just destroyed everything. Yeah, so, and that's the one thing I would hope as humans we could definitely achieve, which kind of is bothersome to me because it doesn't seem like there's a major importance to this, but asteroids coming towards Earth. I mean, uh -huh. we do have an asteroid detection system, but we're not prepared for it. I mean, if we get, 
if we get told like by the system, hey, you got six days to fucking kiss your ass goodbye, what, you know, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do if we find uh, pull an Armageddon? Uh, Go up, put a nuclear bomb in it, and blow it to fucking the pieces. Chances of us actually being successful with that is. Slim to none. Yeah, not very good. And that's the only thing maybe we can do, but... There is... The, believe why it waste not, all that money? Believe it or not... Well, but yeah, really. <laughs> Just let it fucking kill us. No, um, believe it or not, there are contingencies in place to take care of something that should happen like that. But they don't share this stuff just out in the open. They don't say, oh, yeah, we have this. And a lot of it came about because of the movie uh, Armageddon. Deep Impact came out before Armageddon, and then Armageddon came out. And everybody's like, oh, my God, what happens if we get hit? Deep Impact didn't do that well compared to Armageddon. Correct, because everybody died at the end. <laughs> so, yeah. That's pretty much it. You well, know? there goes all the merchandising. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> what are you going to do is put a blank picture on there. It's just a black shirt. <laughs> In, that, was, that was my thing. So. Oh. In 1997, <clears throat> might have been 1996, Yeah, I was, I was uh, sitting at a young lady's house, um, and we were talking with her kids and talking with her, and we were in West Fairview, Pennsylvania, which is right down the road from Enola, Pennsylvania, my current home. Right. And we're sitting there talking, and all of a sudden, the lady says, look, up in the sky. And I said, it's a bird. No, just kidding. <laughs> and and we looked and we saw a fireball. Okay. And it didn't look that high up and it didn't look like it was moving that fast. Okay. So scratch off lightning from your list. Right. Which lightning sometimes can look like a ball of fire. Yeah, yeah. But that usually hits the ground and then comes at you. They call it a lightning ball. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's usually moving pretty fast, right? Ball lightning. Yeah. Yeah, very fast. It's instantaneous you almost can't see it coming at you but it does it comes at you like a yeah. with this this fireball that we were watching um again it wasn't that high and it wasn't going that fast were you that high um, uh <laughs> at the time probably not okay Pro- not not because of who i was with right okay and um that thing had to uh ditch in the susquehanna Right. It, it couldn't have made to Harrisburg because it wasn't that high. And if it touched the ground, it touched in the river. Right. Anyways, fast forward about 10, 15 years, and I'm sitting here watching uh, Unsolved Mysteries or whatever the one of them shows, National Geographic. Yeah. December 1997, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Aliens, man. It, it showed video of what that lady and I saw. Really? Yes. It's like, I saw the No shit, I saw that. What the hell was it? Well, um, they couldn't explain it. They didn't know either. They 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 damn. said it was probably meteorite, meteor, meteorite. Yeah, but they damn. But it was a ball of fire. Yeah, that sounds. That's. And, I and mean, that, that's always possible. And that reminds me of a trick I played, and it's a very good trick. So keep this one in in, in your repertoire. Okay. It was two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, and I'm still wide awake. Yeah. And I'm staying. I'm living at Carol's house, my boss at the yeah. time. And she has two daughters roughly my age, okay. mid-20s at the time. So I had some modeling glue, and I thought, huh, you know what? <laughs> they're pretty They're pretty far into slumber right now. Yeah. So if I go out here and make a little tiny hole in the driveway, squirt some of this modeling glue in it, and then put a match to it, Yeah. what it will do is just sit there and burn. Burn up. That's it, what it, you would think. It, it would burn for a while. Yeah. So I went in and I woke her up. And, hey, you got to come out and check us out. And I did my best acting. you got to come out and check this out. Holy shit, this really freaked me out. Come on out and take a look. <clears throat> and they come out. And what they see in the driveway is a little tiny ball of flame just burning there. Just sit, not you, and, and you go up to it. You can't see nothing. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I was just sitting here minding my own business, right? Minding my own business, right? And the thing just came down from outer space, some shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> she bought it. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. I told her the next. Well, I don't. I don't know who told her the next morning, but that was a joke. Damn. Ah, Jamie got psyched out by Dana. So, that's yeah. Up. So just remember that modeling glue can easily turn into your favorite meteorite. <laughs> Because <laughs> I have favorites, <laughs> dude. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really freaking. Yeah, that awesome. that was. So, anyways, um, Friday is also Social Media Day. Ooh, I wonder who created that. One. Why do we even need one? I know. Isn't every day Social Media Day? Yeah, we all spend 
lots of time oh, on social God. media. Speaking of which, I'm back on Facebook. I know, I know. But don't. I wanted to tell you this. Don't let all that negative, stupid shit it's bring not, you down. It's not the negative, stupid shit that bothers me about Facebook to begin with. It's the, I feel like I have to spend time on it all the time. And I told my wife today, I said, yeah, I woke up this morning and spent two and a half hours on Facebook. <laughs> and she's like... And I said, it's your fucking fault. <laughs> and I was right. You know it. I'm, I'm absolutely, because I was, I was like, you know what? I don't need to go back on Facebook. And she's like, well, because you've, so, you've found certain family members and this thing is going on. And, you know, which, uh, you know, I'll talk about here in a second. You know, you need to be back on Facebook so that way you can keep in touch with these folks. And I'm like, you know, you're right. But I don't want you to be right. I want me to be right. Yeah. One of the greatest things I found about Facebook is a lot of my friends on Facebook um, are friends from the past that I thought I would just never see again. Right. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, here we are. And it's like I'm talking to them every third or fourth day. Yeah. And that's great because I thought I would never see them again. Yeah. But So, well, anyways, Saturday is Po- oh, yeah, yeah. Saturday is Postal Workers Day. It's also U.S. Postage Stamp Day. Oh. Who do you think bought advertisement? Who do you think convinced whoever decides these national days that this day should be Post Office Day? Do you think it was USPS? I don't know. You see, that's weird because I don't think they would have their own best interest at heart. I think it would have to be somebody in the government, but not the USPS. Or somebody that... I think like a senator probably stopped and said, you know what? I like these boys dropping my fucking shit off every day at my house. I like receiving letters. Damn it. I get 72,000 letters a day. <laughs> I might as well just go ahead and offer them a day. They got to have a day. Let's just make it a day. And let them take off for the day, too. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> well, it's also Creative Ice Cream Flavors Day and National Ginger Snap Day. Okay. So I created Ginger <laughs> Snap Ice Cream. Ginger Snap Ice Cream. <laughs> You yeah. like ginger snaps? I kind of do. do. I have like, to be in a mood to eat them. Though. Do you like ginger, ginger's snap? flavoring? <laughs> Would I like ginger to snap? No. <laughs> ginger's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want a bitch to snap. <laughs> so yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> do, do, you, do you like ginger? Uh, I do. The flavoring of ginger, yeah, I do. Because Chinese food makes a lot. They use a lot of ginger. They, they do use a lot of ginger. Yeah. Um. Sunday is National Anisette Day. Anisette. Yeah. What that, is that? Um, clear, clear liquor that tastes like black licorice. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's uh yeah, it's uh it's uh anise. That's the name of the uh, the chemical that's in it that anise. tastes like licorice. Yeah, yes. anise. Yeah. Monday, July third is Fried Clam Day. Yes. It's also Eat Your Beans Day. No. <laughs> and Chocolate <laughs> Wafer Day. Chocolate wafer day. Mmm. That I can go for. I can go for some chocolate wafers. I can eat the hell out of chocolate. I could too, but doesn't chocolate wafer sound a bit boring? Yeah. Why the hell did they come up with that? Yeah. Dude, some of these days, man, I'm just like, who the fuck came up with this stuff? It's crazy. July 4th is barbecue spare ribs day. Makes sense. Makes sense. You know, cooking out, have some spare ribs. Although, personally, I will never order ribs from another restaurant again just because, A, they're too expensive. To come out screwed up in some form or fashion. And B, any rib, you run a risk of a little bit of fatty going on. Right, yeah. So I don't want to pay 18 bucks for a whole rack of fat. Yeah. Where's the, where's the I know you, we talked about this not that long ago. Where did you go and have that shitty shitty ribs at? Was that like Arugas or something? Or? Where was it that I had those shitty ribs? Duke's Waterside? No. Uh, I can't remember. It wasn't chili. I can't, no. No. I got to tell you, man, if you ever have ribs, if you want to have good ribs and, you know, limited, very, very limited fat. And they're not too expensive. I think it was uh, like 16 bucks for a full rack. Uh, it's Chili's. Chili's? Chili's. Yeah. Yeah, they sell these ribs. And they got this one called the Texas Rub. Oh. <sighs> I, I haven't had a bad thing at Chili's. I haven't had anything that I didn't like at Chili's. Exactly. I, they, they also have these nachos at Chili's. Are they nachos? Um, you're talking about the uh, the chips and salsa? Well, it comes to you hot, and it's more like nacho pizza. That nacho pizza? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're But about. it's got cheese and... Yeah, it's like a Mexican pizza. Yeah. But it's, yeah. Well, that thing was about. really good. Yeah, tostada. And if I could use the word of the day, banging. 
banging. They were banging. The word of the day is banging. They were banging. They were banging. And that shit was so cray. (laughs) (laughs) I was feeling a little sus about it, you know. But it's all cray AF. (laughs) Come on, man. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not get into that. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So. And uh, it's also, I don't know why, but July 4th is also National Caesar Salad Day. Oh, my wife would love that. She loves Caesar salad. I like Caesar salad too, except for the croutons. That's the only thing I can't take. And the fact that, you know. Is it the taste or is it the fact that it's stale bread? um, It's difficulty to chew. It's more like it. All right. Um, uh, the thing is with it, though, is that uh, the sauce, the uh, the dressing that they give you, the Caesar dressing, is like a peptic ulcer waiting to happen. <laughs> as soon as you eat it, you're like, oh, I think I'm seeping. Somewhere in my body is seeping. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit uh, pungent, but at the same time, yeah, it's a little acidic. And it tends to uh, tear you, me up, at least. Uh, my wife loves it. She can't get enough of it. My my Lauren likes it, too, very much. Yeah. It's like, um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, if you want. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. <laughs> don't let me stop you. I'm not fucking stopping you. I don't understand why I don't like mayonnaise, but you know what? Go ahead and eat that Caesar. <laughs> Damn, she sounds black. <laughs> <laughs> black folks do not like mayonnaise. And that's a truth. That's an actual truth. They why? Don't like, I don't know why. They like eggs? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you know, yeah. Do they like oil? Yeah, that's what it is. It's the combination of both of them. I've I've had one of my friends tell me it's just too greasy. I don't like it because it's like eating grease. And I'm like, you know, it is kind of greasy. Whenever I have it on a steak and cheese, it's like it makes the steak and cheese even more greasy. Well, melting. Yeah. 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 It's it's, it's going back to its raw form at that point. So that's the reason why. But but it just makes everything so creamy. Yeah, it does. It really sort of. Uh, it's like the glue that puts everything together for the most part. And for years to think I didn't eat anything. Well, I'm, I, that's probably a lot of kid. When you were a kid, did you just eat cheeseburgers plain, nothing on them? Uh, no, ketchup and mustard, Ke- always. Ketchup and mustard. Did you eat anything plain? And later on as a young adult, you'd, hey, I like. Uh, I probably have, yeah. I, I would think I have. I remember eating all my stuff plain. And eventually, I oh, you know what? I like ketchup, mustard, and onions. Right, right. Well, just not that long ago, I discovered, hey, I kind of like relish. (laughs) More than halfway through my life, and I like relish. (laughs) Well, that sucks. At least I caught on. (laughs) But yeah, that's the end of a kind of a weird thing. But so, is that it for days? That's it for National Days. That's Days of Days. Okay. Send your death threats to (laughs) Jeff and Dan at jeffanddan.com. All right. I want to play this commercial real quick. And, okay. Uh, let's see what you think. Yeah. And now for a commercial by Key of Awesome. You've reached the age where you've learned a thing or two. If something wears down, you find a way to get it working again. After all, your generation invented rock and roll and went to the moon. You're a 55-year-old badass. So why should you let erectile dysfunction get you down? Wait, what? Are you talking about me? Yeah, you. Well, I do not suffer from erectile dysfunction. <laughs> sure you do. No, I assure you I do not. Do too. In fact, you're living in what doctors often call a no-bone zone. No, I'm not. Sure you are. Your neighbors call you Noodle Man. Why would they call me Noodle Anyway, talk to your doctor if you're taking nitrates for chest pain and to see if your heart is healthy enough for sexual activity. Side effects may... Hey, listen to me. I do not have ED. Read your wife's blog. What? Yeah. Just Google The Adventures of Softy McGee. (laughs) (laughs) This can't be happening. (laughs) Shit. Gonna be late for work. After all, you're the guy everyone has always looked up to as a leader. So why should you let a little thing like erectile dysfunction stop you from being you? Damn it, I'm giving a presentation to investors right now. Hey, 20 million guys have ED. I mean, not as bad as you do. Sex for you must be like trying to squish a marshmallow into a coin slot. So I wouldn't worry about it so much, Softy McGee. Don't call me that. Oh, sorry. I'll call you something better. Like Noodle Man. Yeah, that's catchy. Noodle Man, a noodle man, does as much as a noodle can. Shut up, shut up, shut up! (laughs) So our, uh, our, uh... We're actually exceeding expectations this quarter. Call a doctor if you experience an erection lasting four hours or longer. Oh, wait, forget it. This is Softy McGee we're talking about. All right, enough! When does this commercial end? Could you just tell me about the Viagra or whatever the product is? 
First, admit you have a problem. All right, I have a problem. What kind of problem? <laughs> I have an erectile dysfunction problem. <laughs> All right, damn it. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to find out if my doctor thinks Viagra is right for me? I don't know. This isn't a commercial. This is God. It's a super slow day in heaven. Just thought I would take some time to mess with you today about your boner problems. <laughs> why, God, why? Is it because I laughed at that old lady when she fell over? It was very funny. Her bloomers went over her head. And you were there. You stopped. Forget it. Well, like we uh, like to say here at Best Industries, uh, invest with the best. I'm sorry. Could you please? Are you not tweeting this, are you? Ooh, follow me at God. I follow back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that one's by a guy's name. Uh, the group's name is Key of Awesome. And, uh, yeah, I found that today when I was looking for something specific. And uh, I had to watch it, dude. It was too funny. I never but, heard of them. Yeah. They they actually, um, they've been around for a little while. I think a couple of years. Oh. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So I have this other one, too, uh, the skit. Uh, the Adventures of Letterman. Let's hear it. Is, right. this, is this one I haven't heard before? No, this is the one we were working on not that long ago. Oh. Yeah. You named it funny. Uh, no. The Adventures of Letterman. Corny Pops. The movie theater is very busy today. The people are going to and fro, buying movie tickets, snacks, and beverages, and finding their seat in the theater. Oh dear, it seems that the evil spellbinder has walked into the front doors. I would recognize that fucked up turban anywhere. Rather sorry, I meant to say, oh dear, it seems the evil spellbinder has walked in the front door. Why are all these people here having fun? Watching movies, enjoying friends, eating snacks. The evil spellbinder has some serious resentment towards people having fun. I have some serious resentment issues towards people having fun. <laughs> I hate people having fun. I hate them eating snacks. I hate this fucked up turban. With that, spellbinder pulls out his magic wand. No, no, not that. I mean, Spellbinder pulls out his magic wand from under his perfectly wrapped turban, gives the wand a whisk through the air, and jumbles the words around in popcorn to make the word cop porn. You have the right to remain silent while I cram this deep into you. Blue life splatter all over you. Would you look at that? Spellbinder has changed the word popcorn into the word cop porn, and as a result... There was all kinds of debauchery, lewdness, and decadence being sprayed all over. Oh. Where, where is Letterman? Will he not save us? Across town, Letterman sits in his easy, wider chair. When all of a sudden, he hears the sounds of nightsticks being slapped up against bodies. Huh? Then he can hear the distant moans. He goes to the window. Oh, look, coming. Faster than a speeding O. Stronger than a silent E. Able to leap capital T's in a single bound. It's a word. It's a plan. It's Letterman. <laughs> Arriving on the scene just in time, it's our hero, Letterman. I'm here so the charges don't stick. The amazing Letterman takes the PC letters from his varsity sweater and changes the word cop porn back into the word popcorn. Letterman has saved us. Everyone is happy and cheering. Yay! Well, except for the evil spellbinder. I've been foiled again by that crime-stopping freak Letterman. Then it concludes today's episode of The Adventures of Letterman. Tune in next week for some more crime-fighting stories. In the meantime, go enjoy a matinee. But be careful. That may not be butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that one. I hope... That our audience got the 5,000 jokes that were buried within that skit. I know. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> Some was of good. them were hidden. Some of them were. But I'm, my, my biggest problem is I don't know that people know what Letterman is. Only, you know I mean? well. To an extent, I think some people may not understand what that is. But. Our age or older. And, yeah, and even probably. then, it, what was on an old show called The Electric Company? Yeah. The not Electric. everybody watched The Electric Company. Right. Yeah. And, and those that did... Not everybody remembers the Avengers of Letterman. Right. But everybody always seems to remember 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
For some reason. Do you think they remember, hey, you guys? I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know. No? I don't know if they'd remember it or not. Do you remember it? I do. You do? I don't remember what it's from, though, but I do remember oh, it. Oh, that's the, that was the big intro to The Electric Company. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah I do remember it then. The Electric Company. Yeah. There's a little song and dance. Yeah. and it, you know, Yeah, it was crazy. It was kind of like Saturday Night Live for kids. Well, well it was... It was <laughs> Generic version of Sesame Street. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. I think it's both of them came on PBS, though. Both of them were on. There. I remember watching them back to back. Sesame Street, then Electric Company. Yeah, I remember watching uh, Sesame Street a whole lot when I was a kid. Yeah, I watched Sesame Street a good bit, too. And I kind of wonder whether or not that sort of doesn't have, uh, or does have, a big uh, influence on how we turned out. Like... For instance, a great for instance is I know that my mind, even though it's going, <laughs> uh, it's already gone, uh, is probably twice as capable of memorizing and uh, recalling things than my mom's, who's in the generation before. They didn't have things like Sesame Street. And I noticed that many of my friends have the exact same abilities to be able to do recall on things that are like, holy shit. Like, I, I can talk to my mom. My mom's not a good case study, though. But my mom, you know, sometimes I ask her something, what happened with this or what happened with that? And this was like 40 years ago or 30 years ago or whatever. And she'll tell me, but like maybe her part of the story is a little bit skewed. Whereas I remember it distinctly being this way. <clears throat> maybe you both are skewed. That could be. I mean, that's a very good possibility. I remember my mom saying to me one time, your memory will play tricks on you. Yeah. And by golly, if she wasn't right. You're absolutely correct. And the, and the worst part about that is it's always local stuff. Anything you've remembered within like the last month or tried to remember within the last month, it will become problematic to try and remember just how things went. You know, like we were talking last week about creating that app that always ran and you'd be able to record, you know, people... Uh, talking to you or you talking to people. That's very similar to what kind of we're talking about is the fact that, you know, two hours ago I said this one thing, but if I try to recall it right now exactly what I said, I'm not going to remember it verbatim, first of all, for, for word for word. I'm I'm not also going to remember exactly what context I was putting it in. Just old age or whatever, but still, the fact of the matter is, you know, I, I still see that our generation has a better recall system than our parents did. And I think um, part of that has to do with our upbringing on things like Sesame Street. Because there's really no other really good answer for that, except for schools, because I know when my mom went to school, uh, they were just getting out of the schoolhouse phase, where you had one schoolhouse, everybody goes to that school, that's what it is. Weren't things drilled into their head, though? For the most part, yeah. I mean, for recall... To recall later, I think yeah. I mean, you there did was it no five thousand times. Of course, you can remember how to spell it. Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> it. Uh, no. That yeah. That's. Um, I think that that's part of it. Uh, they didn't give them a basis for on which to recall. They didn't tell them, hey, here's what you've got to do in order to be able to remember this stuff, and that's probably part of the problem. Whereas our situation is we were taught a specific way to do like word association. We think of a word or no, we look at something and we have to remember it. So we sort of associate it with different things and then put it all back together again. That guy looks like he's got a parrot on his shoulder. So I'm going to call him pirate, but his name's actually Tom. But I remember he's a pirate. So I'm going to remember Tom. It's basically our, our method for remembering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind say of our method. What? Yeah, he looked like a pirate, Pirate Tom. Or who, let's just say. Uh, who the hell is Pirate Tom? Blackbeard. Just a dude that had a parrot on his shoulder. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. It's like, uh, you know, when you leave tonight, if I say to you, all right, man, don't forget about the blue rhino or the blue elephant, you'd be like, what? you're going to recall things that happened around that period because you're going to be like, oh, yeah, Blue Rhino, we were in the garage leaving and blah, blah, blah. And you know what I mean? See what I'm saying? So it was those associations. So the weird, really weird, weird ones were the ones where you kind of gave it just a bizarre association so that you could remember it easily. I know I did. You know, Sue made Harry eat onions, a really great example. They didn't do that in my mom's generation. They did it in our generation where we created a, um, uh, what the hell is that called? 
Uh, oh shit, I can't think of what it's called. What uh, does alliteration? No, is it alliteration? No, where it's like Sue, when Sue, uh, Sue made Harry eat onions is the name of the Great Lakes from west to east. Oh, okay. Sioux Superior made it's Michigan. Kind of like Roy G. Biv. Right, exactly. Or exactly. every good boy deserves fudge. fudge. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, that, exactly that. It's, it's, you know, we remember it because of specific things and the way we were taught to actually remember stuff instead of just being pounded, you know, right, right into our brains. It was something that they gave us as a tool to be able to start memorizing other stuff. Just like my kids, your kid, when they went to school, their math was different, is different, completely different from the way we learned. They do these things with like slats or lattices or whatever the fuck it's called. And you got to like figure out how they're doing it. And that's the weird part to us. My wife and I look at their homework and go, what the hell is this, man? You know, <laughs> I don't... I don't know. And then you have to sit there and read, and you're like, oh, I get it now. And, you know, I, I think I figured it out. And uh, it, it seems to work. So, you know. Wasn't there one of those um, Roy G. Biv things with um, the planets? Something about eats Martha's. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, it's M V E A. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, I don't remember. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> that's one. Yeah. That's one part we didn't learn in Sesame Street. Yeah. How to recall shit fifty years later? Exactly. Uh-huh. <laughs> Stuff we learned in school just to be crazy, just to be crazy. All right, man. So what else we got? That's all I got now. I understand you. Um, you have some incredible news. I do. I have some incredible news. The incredible news is. Uh, for the past 40 plus years, I've been looking for my biological father and I found him. Where did you find him at? Believe it or not, um, my wife is very good at this kind of stuff. And I, she had actually said she's going to create a part-time position for herself in helping people to find their relatives. Well, she better hurry up. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, but the, the thing was, um, I did the DNA thing where uh, I went, sent a vial and got my DNA tested. And she noticed the other day that a place called Family Tree DNA, which is one we never went with, we went with Ancestry and 23andMe. Um, we went with both of those. And then we took our my raw data, and the other day they had a special over at Family Tree DNA. It said, just bring your raw data over, and we'll see if you know anybody. Well, we did that, and apparently I knew somebody. <laughs> a lot closer. Okay, Ancestry has some of my cousins, my first cousins on my mom's side. Um, we took the stuff over to family tree DNA and I had a first cousin that wasn't on my mom's side. She's like, who's this? And I was like, I have no idea. I have no idea who this person is. So, um, she started looking into it more, a little bit more, a little bit more and come to find out that this person that I'm first cousins with, uh, is also related to somebody with the last name Clark, which was what my mom told me was my biological father's name. Yes. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm a Clark. <laughs> mm. uh, anyway, uh, long story short, uh, she did all the, the research and stuff that it took to, and she found my half-brother. And my half-brother is actually three years older than me. So um, Where he, at? He lives in New York. City? Uh, yeah, uh, Long Island. So, yeah, kind of, but not really. Uh, Nassau County, I believe. Um, but anyway, she um, she found him, and I emailed him with the under the auspice that I wasn't one hundred percent sure, but I needed to find out. You know, um, my mom told me you know my father's name was this, and I need you to you know let me know if that's the case. Is your father named that as well? Um, and he emailed back like that same night and said yeah. And he goes and you and I are pretty much in the same situation. Meaning, like, his, our father had a, you know, a hand in creating us, but then wasn't around for us for very long. And, uh, yeah, and that's uh, that's the situation. So uh, I talked to my half-brother yesterday. Is his last name Clark? Yes. Dude, we both have brothers named Dennis Clark. I know. Isn't that weird? <laughs> that's the weirdest of shit. I know. I knew, I knew that. Uh, and the other thing, too, is that... Um, my biological father, uh, here I thought, you know, 
uh, I did ask him a question. I had to send him back an email before I talked to him over the phone. I said, listen, the only question that you can answer for me is, you know, if this is true, then we're definitely related is whether or not your father lived in Virginia. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> I just found family. Uh, and during that period, my wife had figured out that there were six siblings. So I am the seventh. Man, she's pretty good. Are, yeah, you, are you the really baby? Good. No, no, I'm not the baby. I'm actually the middle child. Oh, my God. Like the middle child. I'm like number four. So, you know. But here's the thing. And this is the other thing. And this isn't, you know, I'm not discouraging anyone, you know, or anything. To be honest with you, it's great that I found my father and, you know, I'd love to have a conversation with him, but I'm not going to hold him to anything. I'm not going to be pissy about anything. I understand his situation. I understood his predicament. But at the same time, you know, don't expect that, you know, it's going to be like Father's Day every fucking year. Uh, (laughs) But, you know, the fact of the matter is uh, I do want to get to know my brothers and sisters because I have half brothers and sisters who I showed you pictures of are extremely good looking, yeah. which I thought was just, it kind of blew me away. Not not to say, you know, my kids, they're all good looking, but I just thought, you know, maybe that was just my genetics from my mom's side, but it really wasn't her. Um, I mean, it was, but, it, you know, partially. Um, some of those girls did look like Christy. Yeah. Well, so some of them look like... Um, my daughters. So. Probably, yeah, I was going to say more like your middle, your youngest daughter. Yeah. It probably yep. looked more like her. than Some you. of those, yeah, very much so. And uh, that's, yeah, I don't, uh, I look forward to, to this new road that so, I have to go down, but. Are they all aware that you exist? Yes. Dennis, my brother, has a group chat and he talks to all of them. And before he called me yesterday, he had already talked to them all. And every single one of them are apparently like, we want to know him. We want to know what find out what he's like. When are we going, man? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I want to have a family reunion. Because here's the interesting thing. My biological father lives 45 minutes from me. He lives in Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. I didn't know that. And that being the case, it's almost perfectly dead center for everybody. Because some of my sisters and brothers live in Virginia, like halfway down Virginia. And then some of them live in New York. They live in the Front Royal area? No. No? No, not at all. Um, they live in uh, Fredericksburg vicinity, Farquhar okay. County, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, so they have to, you know, they, they it would almost be a halfway point to come to Pennsylvania. Do they all have a relationship with their father? Um, to be honest with you, I, I believe so. I didn't really go into many details. Um, I said there's going to be plenty of time for us to sit and talk and, and figure everything out. Um, but, uh, I think they have a relationship with him, but the first three kind of have like more of a strained relationship with him, kind of like a buddy more than a, a father kind of thing. Um, but the last three, uh, apparently I believe he was there for them pretty much all their lives. Well, I'm just going to take a, I'm just going to take a shot in the dark here. Um, probably when he was younger. He was one running around planting some seeds. Sure, didn't really care. Right. And as he got older, and along come the last four, three, four kids, and he starts thinking, "Man, I, uh, yeah, I really want to be a dad. I really want to be a part of the, their lives. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start settling down here." Is that what happened? I I'm not sure, but my wife seems to believe because my wife found about a bunch of stuff uh, from uh, from him. Um, apparently he had been married and divorced several times. Um, that being the case, they weren't, you know, I, I don't think that all of his kids were always in his life, but I do know this. My two younger sisters, uh, took a picture with him. It was the picture I sent you, uh, with him standing in the middle and the two women on both sides. Um, and they call him dad. So I think maybe he did have like a, more of a relationship with them which i mean none of this stuff actually bothers me at all it's really weird i just i never never thought i would ever you know find anybody and and certainly didn't think i was going to find any brothers or sisters i i didn't either dude i just kind of thought that was one of those mysteries that just time just keeps burying and burying that you would never yeah i I didn't even I, i did you did you have a desire to find them yeah no not really. This has been Christy? Yes. Um, well, here's the thing. 
I wasn't really into it, but I am into it. You know what I mean? I do want to meet. I do want to know my family. I do want to meet these people. But um, when it comes to uh, initially, did I want to look? No, I wasn't out to search for them. I was just sort of like, I just want to know what I am. You know what I mean? What am I? What's my DNA say about me? Here, I thought I was Native American. I thought I was three quarters Native American. It turns out I'm not even Native Amer- Native American at all. Ah. Yeah, I am mostly one half Irish and English. Yeah, forty like three percent or something uh, Irish English. Yeah, so I'm just like, well, shit. <laughs> you know, and that's good because you know I name my kids Irish names. Well, instead Irish, of things, Irish is cool. It's instead of names like Native American names like coming out of closet soon. You know what I mean? <laughs> that kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so but that's uh that yeah that's neither here nor there it's just i wanted to be able to determine who i was and that was it it wasn't a necessity to have to go after this stuff but christy was very excited about doing it she was very determined and she was very upset when we did the two studies uh they both did my dna and both of them had basically nothing like there was no information whatsoever but apparently about uh, 17,000 people I'm related to. Well, you know. That make, are still alive. Makes sense. Wow. Yeah, exactly. And she pulls it up. She says it every time. She's like, I went into your thing and there were 28 pages of people with like 100 on each page or whatever. Jeez. She goes, I checked mine and there were three. I said, pages? She said, no, people. I was like, dude, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and and here we thought she was the one that came from the big huge family. Right, exactly. So now I've come to find out I actually have more brothers and sisters than she does. So which is just, you know huh. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> what what nationality did did her DNA come back as? Christie's. Yeah. Um German. Mostly German, yeah. Germanic. Mostly German? Yeah. Germanic and uh Scandinavian. Scandinavian. Yeah. So like Finland, uh, Sweden. I wonder Norway. what her family history is during World War Two. <clears throat> oh no 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 yeah. Um, were they we all, were we they know all? about her family over World War Two, and they weren't they weren't Russian. I mean, they weren't Hitler supporters or empathizers. Were, were they in Germany? No. So they were all over here. By yeah. Then. Yeah, they had come over the early 1900s. So yeah, they weren't there anymore. And which had always been a question in my mind, of like you know, when all my kids coming out of the womb going, "Hi, Hitler! Hi, Hitler!" You know, <laughs> holy shit, man, he's got a little mustache, and oh, it's just underneath his nose. He looks like Eva Braun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but no, yeah, it was it was all good. She uh, she was kind of surprised about hers too because she actually has more divisions in her family history, like her DNA. When you check your DNA, they give you a, a little like a pie chart. And the pie chart kind of gives you, and they give you bar charts and other stuff too, but the, the pie chart kind of shows you exactly what you're made of. You know, where are you from for the most part? Um, and mine doesn't have as many divisions as hers does. Mine's actually like seven or eight. And I do have African in me, which is, you know, interesting because, you know, I have the ability to have rhythm, which is really cool. But, you know, that's about all I got from that. <laughs> I can't jump. Fuck that. Anyway. <laughs> uh <laughs> But yeah, uh, her hers on the other hand is like really, really wedged up. Like she's got you know pieces of this here and there, and I'm like, wow, that's just kind of creepy. You know, kind of crazy. Any odd pieces? Not really. No, it's all mostly Western Western uh, Europe. So I mean, it's not like she's Bolshevik or anything like. That. Any French? Yes. Yeah, there's French in there too. Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, Western Europe was like one of her smaller pieces, but it was there. They consider that Western Europe. Um, they consider Western Europe to be things like France, Belgium, uh, Portugal, Spain, so on and so forth. And then um, England and Ireland, although they are extremely West, uh, are actually islands, so they count them as themselves as well. Are the English and the Irish related? Yes. Okay. Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, you have to. I think you have to have another specific test done just to determine how much of one you are than the other. Why do they bloody hate each other so? <laughs> it's I, I, political. I guess, it's I guess, all political. Yeah, I guess you can you can ask the same question about the United States. Why does the South hate the North? Yes and no. See, the Northern Irish and the Southern Irish don't like each other because one goes with the cl- uh, the Catholic clan and the other one is a Protestant clan. And it's see, a you know, religious no, thing. I, isn't that weird? Because when you boil it down, it's the same God. Exactly. 
Oh, I'm glad you pointed that out. But they don't think so. No, 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 no. We've got to guard our wee lucky charms down here. You know. <laughs> and then they go and fucking bomb everybody. Um, yeah, that's that's really kind of what it comes down to is the fact that it's a religious battle that doesn't need to exist. Because there's really no reason to hate one another anymore. It's simply their ignorance, I guess, in, in how much this, you know, they, they truly believe on their sides of Christianity about the same God and the same things that happened. I, I don't understand that. I have seen before Christians and Protestants fight, not that, not that, uh, heavy, right. but I still see them fighting and, and they're basically their biggest common denominator of hate, if you will, is their religion. Yeah. One's Catholics, one, one's Catholic, one is Protestant. Right. It would be like the Mormons fighting the Catholics here in the United States. That's basically what it would come down to. And I don't understand it because it, they are, it's the same God. And I, I also personally think the Muslim God is also the same God as the Christians. I, I, yes and no. I, I, you know, Allah is being similar to our God. I, yeah, I think so. Though, although they, they find that to be blasphemous, if you say that. And the reason being is because... Their God is more potent and well, omnipotent than our God is. Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's why the Catholics and the Protestants fight. Right. Exactly. One of them said, one of, oh, omnipotent. Ours oh, is better. I'm going to kick he, your omnipotent ass. He gets hard-ons more frequently. I'm sorry. But, <laughs> oh, no, not impotent. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Tough. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. And it's, yeah. I, I, religious hate crimes and stuff is just, I don't know, it's stupid. It is. I, I really honestly think there's a way for all of us to be able to get along and for everybody to have peace if they just stop and think there's no reason to be doing what we're doing. There's no reason to try and kill people that you don't know. You know, it's like me saying, hey, man, I hate President Trump, which means, in essence, I hate Baron Trump. I don't even fucking know Baron Trump. You know what I mean? So how can I do that, you know? Or I think that Melania is a slut. No, I can think that all I want, but I don't typically know. And because, and that's that's really what it's come down to. That's where we've hit here in the United States. Just real quick, we've hit this problem where the Republicans hate Democrats just because they have Democrat in front of their name. Are you talking about the civilians? I'm talking, yeah, not, anybody, not, anybody, even congressmen, even congressmen right, are like that. Yes, yes. But amazingly, there you go. They both have the same God, which is keeping their power. Right, yeah, exactly. Well, I, I even said this out loud. I said, you know what? Republicans, Democrats, it doesn't fucking matter. Not anymore. They all want the same thing. They want to stay in power, and they want to make as much money as they can. That's that, that really the only two. If, you, if anybody can prove me wrong, if you can prove me wrong that those are the two most powerful things that are, that are keeping Congress... And keeping, imagine this, okay, imagine you own a company and that somebody comes to you and says, I need you to do this for me. And you say, here's how much money it's going to cost. You say, okay, you take their money or they give you their, their money. You take their money and you do the project, but you take a really fucking long time to do it. Like mow their yard and it takes you 17 years. Okay, seriously. It takes you 17 years to do it. That person has already paid you money. They want you to get the job done. They're going to bitch. They're going to gripe. They're going to fucking complain. There's not a damn thing they can do. Sure, they could go out and hire somebody else to do it, but they're thinking in the back of their mind, this is a loss. Somebody has, you know, I gave this guy money. He needs to do this job. And the problem is that's exactly what's going on with Congress and what's going on with all government, to be exact is the fact that these we are the people who want them to come mow the fucking yard. I, I see what... I I think I understand what you mean. It, it's kind of like um, the man in me, even though it ain't... And it really isn't a big deal. Somebody stole my aluminum cans. Yeah. What they steal from me. 30 bucks, big deal, what would he do? Unless but it's the, your dinner. But, but the man in me says, ain't nobody getting one over me. Exactly. This makes me look like less of a man. I want blood. It's just aluminum cans. I know. I know. A, a great example of that, and I'll call the boys up or uh, down. Um, great example of that, as a matter of fact, today, my son-in-law posted a little thing on, on social media. And he said that his wife had made a call on my daughter. 
had made a call uh, to a house about a rent, you know, a rental property. They wanted to rent this house. And um, the guy was pretty ignorant over the phone. And then uh, he asked questions. And of course, you know, upsetting, she, you know, that he's a dick to begin with. But then she tells them that she has this certain condition that, that she needs to have. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. She has dogs. Um, and she's going to let those dogs out. No, I'm just kidding. Who <laughs> let the dogs out? My daughter. Uh, <laughs> no, but she has uh, she has pit bulls, and she loves her pit bulls. They're really friendly dogs. Talking about the daughter-in-law? Um, no, this is my daughter. Oh, you do? Okay. My actual daughter. Um, and uh, she wants to be able to move into this place. Well, apparently, this gentleman went on a rampage at that point and basically fucking said what kind of mental problems do you have that you would have those types of dogs and blah 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 just very very ignorant and um she got done with the telephone call called her husband crying you know basically and and explained through her cries that this is what this guy did and how much of a dick he was his instinct my son-in-law's instinct was the same instinct that i have or used to have i've actually mellowed out quite a bit believe it or not Mostly pot. Anyway, uh, um, she, uh, he wanted to go call this guy up, bitch him out, and then go beat his ass. Which, I think every man should really kind of be like that in a way. But n- now I actually think maybe be that way. But then, you know, work on trying to console your wife first. Then maybe during that period, you might find the peace in yourself to realize it's not even worth it. This guy is not worth it. Fuck him. You know what I mean? He's just pissing you off and gonna be a dick and i said there's gonna be dicks in your life there's gonna be people that are assholes they're just gonna be fucking screwing you over or bitching at you or pissing you off and there's no reason to get so angry with them i, I understand it's a testosterone thing you really really want to rip this fucking guy's head off but don't do that there's no reason to do that and then i told him my very very famous words that i love to use whenever these situations come up he who angers you controls you and that is so perfect. There's no way around that. It is like the perfect metaphor, if you will, for this situation. So what did your son-in-law end up doing? Um, Calming down? A little bit, yeah. I think I talked him down a little bit because I got him joking. You know what I mean? I kind of made a few cracks and he laughed about some things. And, you know, you know, I, I, can, sign, I can sort of see myself that as that young man sure. wanting to go beat his ass. Exactly. And then a part of me says... The part of me that's getting more mature and a voice is getting more reassuring and sounding correct. But that voice says, find out the state agency that controls renting. Right. And call them and just make a nasty complaint about how exactly. he asked us what re- what nationality we were. Oh, yeah. What sexuality we were. Yeah, come up some shit like that. Yeah. And then just forget about them and walk yeah. away. Yeah, watch how fast they fucking tear his ass down. I wonder if he would even get as much as a phone call from the state. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if you ever saw that commercial. They used to have a commercial on TV about uh, um, discrimination. There was this one white guy who was kind of short, whatever, worked for the government, would call up these places and say, you know, things like, I would like to rent this apartment from you, and then see what the people say. Oh, we're sorry, that apartment's not available. Sorry, click. And then he would call back, and he would say, yeah, hey, um, I'm an airline pilot, and I really need to uh, find an apartment. I saw this local thing that you have. And, oh, yeah, that's great. Well, you know, you can come and take a look at it. That'd be fine. And that's that's basically what the commercial was, is like him being black, him being Indian, him being Chinese. I think I almost remember that. Yeah. It was just a it was fucking, it was so easily shot, like just this guy in front of a mound of shit, like a mound of paperwork or whatever, and he's calling these places and, and doing that. And I'm like, dude. Where do I sign up? I want to fucking do that. <laughs> I could do that for hours a day. You know what I mean? Easily. Easily. That kind of happened to us one time. Yeah. Um, the last time we were looking to rent <clears throat> was about like 15 years ago. Yeah. Um, Christy was calling some people. And there's always this place in Enola that has this for rent sign. It's maybe 20 units of townhouses. Oh, wow. And it always has a for rent sign. Yeah, understandably, you know, townhouses yeah. have high turnover. Sure. So Christy called him up, and she got, Hello, what do you need? You have kids? How many room you want? 
<laughs> oh, we don't have no more room that. <laughs> so <clears throat> she would get it out first. Do you have any kids? Oh, you have kids. Well, then, do you have any rooms? Do you, do you, do you, how many rooms do you need? Christy would say, two bedrooms. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have any two bedrooms for rent right now. That way, it ain't because you had kids, which is damn well is what it was. Right, exactly. They could blame it on something else. They could blame it on something else. Right, right. Exactly. But then you could call back and just be like, yeah, I don't have any kids. I don't have any pets. But I do need two bedrooms. I need something to put my computer in. Oh, sure. We have two bedrooms. We show you. You come out and see now. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go ask Christy tonight. I'm going to see if she remembers this here. And, and yeah. Um, yeah. It It's amazing what renters have to go through. It is. It's very amazing. And it's, it's kind of shitty that, I mean, I, I remember the days fondly. Or actually, not necessarily fondly. I should say fondly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Some of them were good. Like um, our place on... Uh, Oh, the one where we had the drum set. Yeah, High Street. High Street. Yeah. Which 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 was a haunted house? Uh, Third Street. Third Street. Okay. Yeah. High Street was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we'll find a landlord like that that will rent to three people not related again. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think so. Not especially not in this day and time. Because Lauren Lauren's moving out this weekend. Her and her uh, two yeah. friends. Did I tell you this? Yeah, you told me that last. The week. married couple. They're. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I. Yeah. Well, I, Switch about a three wheel. It's all good. <laughs> Shit breaks off your bicycle now. Go ahead. <laughs> While you bicycle your ass down there and give me some Chinese, motherfucker. <laughs> she had a hard time finding uh, some rental units because they didn't want to rent to unrelated, you know. Understandably, unrelated understandably, these these uh, landlords have been burnt before by uh, young people that weren't weren't related, so they didn't care and. So either one moved out early, they got in a fight, blah, 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 anything. But Yar's Revenge. Yes, Yar's Revenge, man. You remember that game? Yeah. Dude, that was hey. one of my favorite Atari oh, games. Wow. Have a seat. All right. We have brought in the board. <laughs> yeah, that was Yar's Revenge. Uh, it's the Atari version <laughs> of Yar's Revenge. Hello, boys. Close that door behind you, please. Right. Close it. Not all the way. Just, yeah, right. Oh, okay, that's fine. I didn't think it was going to close by itself. That's weird. I guess I got it dehydrated down here enough. Basically, I come downstairs and I'm like, oh, I need something to drink. Oh, it's like the Sahara down here. Yeah. So, all right, man. So, you're going to step up. I'm going to get uh, Declan set up here. I forgot to set this one up. Yeah, get Declan set up. How comes we don't have a pair of headphones? For Liam. We do. They're right there. Yeah, right here. Oh, they're right there. Right where they belong, huh? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's <laughs> see what we got here. Huh. Reach, move up to your microphone. Move up to yours. Okay. All right. Okay, hang on. Here. Why is it off? I don't know. All right, Liam, try yours. It's working. Okay. Declan, try yours. Okay, yeah, it's working. <laughs> Yay. All right, very cool. Ooh. Awesomeness. Okay. <laughs> awesome sauce. Ladies and gentlemen, these are my sons at home. I actually have another son that's an adult. He doesn't live at home. But uh, I do have two sons here. I have a Liam and Declan. Hello, everybody. That's Liam. Hello. And that's Declan. You can't tell them apart while you're listening to them. You really can't. No. <laughs> no. It's, I mean, just uh, the voice, eventually, you, you can kind of see a little bit of difference, but that's yeah. about it. Hey. And, and uh, that was me. Okay. Um, Declan's hair is turning blonde. Yeah, he's been playing outside a lot lately. Is it, been you, out in the sun. It was always, it's always been a dark color, hasn't it? No, it's been kind of chestnut brown. Chestnut brown? Yeah, but oh. he is right under a light, too, so that makes it does, yeah. definitely makes it a little bit more. Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit more stuff. A little bit. Yeah. All right, boys. Well, hey, why don't you let me ask you a couple questions to break the ice? Yes. Some ice breakers. All we, right. These, this is a game we play on this show called 42 Questions. Every time we have guests come in, we ask these questions to get them, know, get them to know a little bit better. Okay. Yes. And um, you're first, okay? All right. All right. Liam's first. Answer them as fast as you can and correctly as you can because we'll know if you're lying. All right. First name. William. Birth date. 5-15-2006. Wow, this isn't working very well. Yeah, it did. It worked fine. Good. Place of birth. You don't know? Hanover Hospital. Um, York Hospital. York, York, York Hospital. I can't. 
I don't know. <laughs> Age. Oh my god. I'm um, eleven. Grade. Sixth. If In, you, into the mic, dude. Into the mic. Sixth. Yes. There you go. Right. If you could change one rule that your family has, what would it be? <laughs> you gotta think, man. I don't know. You don't know. Um, Just talk, man. Talk. Thing. Does your does your family... throwing you can throw balls in the house? All right, just rubber balls. You're not yes. allowed to throw balls in the house. No, correct. Not, not even not even rubber balls. What That's right. Kind of evil parent are you? Oh my god! <laughs> what is something that makes your family so special? We are Neanderthal, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> We are 97% in the air fall. All right. Well, you know, I'm homo sapien. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite food? Hot dog. Oh, okay. Do you prefer cheeseburgers or chicken fingers? Cheeseburgers. Chicken fingers or pizza? Pizza. What's your favorite kind of pizza? Um, meat. Just all meat. <laughs> yeah. I guess that answers the next question. Hells yes. Do you like vegetables? Yes. What kind? Like broccoli, carrots, and you know, um, kumquats, lettuce, <laughs> salad. You eat all your vegetables. Not all of them, but most of them. Yeah. Wh- which ones don't you like? Um, sauerkraut. Appreciate. Like <laughs> cel. I kind of like dislike celery. I'm not really a fan of celery. He really doesn't like onions. Yeah, and onions. Oh, they just. They're horrible. I think I think you pro- that'll probably change as you get older. Yeah. They so they smell so bad to me. They, they onions. do. They do. They smell like armpits. Don't yeah. They? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. Here's another question. You ready? Mm-hmm. Of course you are. Did you ever beat up on your younger brother? Definitely yes. <laughs> did you ever hit your sisters? Yes. You did. Did they yes. cry? N- no. Duh. I was gonna say. Of course would, not. I'm thinking they would. Thump He's hit him. He's never clocked him though. <laughs> <laughs> Sister. What is your favorite holiday? Christmas. Oh. Do you like school? A little, I guess. Yeah, just a little. You were supposed to say no. Yeah. No? Social social, social stuff. He loves social stuff. I'm not mom. Okay. Okay. I, like, I'm, I'm I like seeing my friends and everything. And, you know. Social yeah, things, yeah. yeah. But you don't like all that stupid work you got to do. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. that's horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. yeah. It sucks. Keep going. One day, I come to you, and in my hand, there was three pills. The red pill allows you to go back in history for one day. The blue pill gives you riches for one day. The white pill makes you invisible for what day? Which oh, pill do you choose? Um, I would... The red pill, I guess. The red See, pill. Jeff, you didn't train him very well. They take drugs from strangers. I know, man. What the hell? <laughs> the, the red one is uh, da, 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 uh, go back in history. Go back in, yeah. yeah, definitely. Where would you go? Um, I would go to... 1982. The, Revo- the, yeah. Re- the Revolutionary War when oh, it was man. happening. I want to see yeah. like what it was like and you know what they had to go through. You are definitely my son. Gruesome nature. <laughs> okay, now the very next day, you would be very sick from the pill and you would have very painful headaches. Now, assuming you knew this before I offered them to you, would you still take the pill? Um... You know, it's very good yes. that you're actually yes, thinking probably. about it. Yes. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. I think I would, too. I think yeah. I would, too. I mean, it would be, yeah, I'm going to be sick, but I'm going to have a huge head headache. Yeah. I don't really care if I have a headache. If I have a headache, then I just, like, you know, just yeah. take it a little more easily. Yeah. I don't I don't really ever have a headache, though. You, you so. don't get headaches? Yeah. Lounge around in bed, yeah. <laughs> have you ever told a lie? Yes. Did you ever steal something? Yes. Did you ever murder someone? Definitely no. Do you want to? Wait, wait. Actually, maybe, <laughs> maybe yes, yes, a same does. plushy, a, like a plush or something like. <laughs> I don't know. Something made something. No, with, he's talking about a human being. No. Okay. Well, him. not a human being though. Right. Have you ever <laughs> eaten dog food? No. Did you ever trick anyone into eating dog food by telling him that it was a steak casserole? No, no way. I don't, I don't no way, Jose. You should try it. Your sisters will absolutely gag. All right. That'd be funny. Did right, you ever taste a beer? No. No. 
I've, it, I've was, smelled it though. So. Was it good? I have. No, it, I don't know because <laughs> I did not eat one or drink <laughs> one. Or what, did you Did you like the smell? <laughs> no. No, I did, no, I did not like the smell. It smells yeah. weird. Yeah, it does. Weird. It does. Um, where is your favorite place to go out to eat? Arby's. What do you, the best. What do you get? Um, usually, um, what are what are three they? for five classic roast beef? Yes, cla- <laughs> original roast beefs, three of them, so yes. good. He eats all three of them. Too. How often do yeah. you go there? Like maybe like once every like two weeks, I guess. Yeah, once or twice a month. Do you ever pay the bill? No, definitely <laughs> not. Whip out the visa, boy. Did you ever leave a tip? No, 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 no. Is, no. You, is your dad a good tipper? Yes, yes, I I don't know. Kind of. Almost always. 20%. I don't even know how much he tips. <laughs> Almost always twenty percent. I guess. All right. Ten percent at buffets. Do you? That's Seriously. generous. That's yeah. Ten percent at buffets. Do you play baseball? Yes. I knew that. What position? Uh, third base usually. Ooh, the hot corner. What is your number? Um, eight. Number eight. Yes. Does, does it help you in picking up chicks? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Did you ever listen to the Jeff and Dan show? No, I haven't. He's never. I've seen the website though. Did you like being on the Jeff and Dan show? <laughs> kind of too early to tell. <laughs> I <him>. don't. <laughs> he doesn't have. Did I ever yet. like being on the Jeff and Dan show? Um, I don't know. We yeah. supposed to say no, yes. I, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, yes. Okay. Yep. Not too close to the. Who point. is who is funnier, Jeff or Dan? Well, we are going to edit this out. To be honest, <laughs> honestly, honestly, I'd say Dan probably. Oh, right, thank you. Uh-huh. Dads have to be mean, don't I they? I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And that was our forty-two questions. Thank you for playing. Yeah, and, um, uh, oh, you're my welcome. Turn. My turn. Now we know all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And you know what? You were very truthful in all of them. My uh, lie detector didn't pick up anything. It didn't. Nope. No. All right. Fan. Declan, are you ready? Yes. First hey, of all, how you gotta, do you... Hey, you got to get in your mic. Yeah. What? Right what? Talk into your mic. Okay. What is there your you first go. name? Declan. How do you spell that? D-E-C-L-A-N. Is that right? I would have spelled it T-H-A-T. It's spelled How do you G- spell that? Never mind. I was, oh, yeah. Oh. Do, do, when, when, when you go to school, like your teacher sees your name for the very first time, does she does she say Declan? Yeah. Do you get that a lot? Declan? Yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Okay. Uh, your first name was Declan. And when is your birthday? Uh, 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 1126. 1126. Yeah. Where were you born? Uh, Hanover Hospital. Mm-hmm. York Hospital. York Hospital. <laughs> I, know. I don't really know. Do you like school? Uh, little. What grade are you in? Third. Fourth. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's going into fourth. Yeah, he just oh, graduated. So. Did you ever cheat on a test? Uh, no. No? I don't think I have. Yeah, I have not. Did you ever bully another kid? Yes, I have. Have you ever been bullied? Yes. Who's the smartest kid in your class? Hmm, I don't know. Jeff or Dan? <laughs> oh, uh, Jeff. <laughs> um, you never, you didn't, you didn't give an answer for that, did you? Uh, no, I didn't give an answer. Who, who, I don't... Who would, name some of the smartest kids in your class. Hannah. Uh, is that a girl? Yeah, it's a girl. Uh, Hayden. Is that a girl? No, it's a boy. Are you friends with either Hannah or Hayden? Um, I'm friends with Hayden. Hayden? Yeah. Okay. Are you considered one of the smart ones? What? Are you considered one of the smart ones? Uh, Don't know ki- yet? Kind of. Kind of? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. I'm smart in my class. <laughs> Are you? Yes. Yeah, probably the, he's the, like the smartest. I'm not one. the smartest, but I'm, I'm probably one of the smart one of the smart ones. I guess. Oh, humble. Are you smarter than your sisters? Uh, no. No. My sisters are no, oh, no, I probably no, not. No, never say that. I know, boys. right? Never. Yeah, say oh my. It. Now they're like, yeah, they're thinking. Oh, never, no, never not. admit women are smarter than they men. They are. You are the weakest link. <laughs> Anyways. What, what the heck? Yeah. Okay. All right. I have to find out. Where <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to hit that the fourth time. Okay, here we go. What do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm, that's a hard question. I don't. Give an approximated answer to Anything. that. Anything. Give me Something your top else. three. My top three. 
What would you like to do when you get older? Well, we do YouTube, so. Yeah, YouTube, baseball, and soccer. Okay. There you go. All right. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Wow. Are you a party to, or is any of your immediate family a party to, any civil litigation involving the pharmaceutical manufacturer of chlorhexidine? Uh, <laughs> wow, uh, we, 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 uh, we, are, we are not going to know I that. Don't know. <laughs> All right. You're going to plead the fifth? What? You, uh, you're going to plead the fifth? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what you mean. We don't know that. You're gonna stuff. bleed to death. What? Oh, we're gonna bleed to death. <laughs> no, he said bleed the fifth. <laughs> Do you uh, like sports? Uh, yes. What? Which kinds? Soccer and obviously soccer. Do you like baseball? Uh, a little. Do you like football? Oh come on. Uh yeah, I like football. Do you like who can eat the most hot dogs? Kind of contests. No, we don't do that. You don't do that? Oh, you should. Who's nicer, your mom or your dad? You don't have to look at him. Um, <laughs> yeah, you don't have to look at me. I'd say dad. Is yeah, that dad. right? Dad, yeah, dad. I would. <laughs> there goes the wife. <laughs> <laughs> Who is smarter, your mom or your dad? Dad. Yeah. Oh, that was a hands down there. Yeah, right? yeah what? Yeah, that's I a... know. Who is smarter, Brooklyn or Caitlin? <gasps> Caitlin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Caitlin, definitely. <laughs> She is pretty smart. Uh, although yeah, she is. Brooklyn, Brooklyn has her smarts too, but her well, Caitlin, her Caitlin, book Caitlin smarts. is like more smarter because she's a higher grade than her. Yeah, yeah she, that's she's true. because she's in college already, and you know, yeah. and, and Brooklyn's and, a nerd, and she <laughs> skips her classes. Too. Socially awkward. No, Charlie. she's not socially she's awkward. Socially. She's typical. In your family, who swears the most? What? In your family, who swears the most? Hmm. In your yeah, come on, man, just say it, dude. I'm pointing right at you, Dad. What the fuck? Come on, just say <laughs> it. Now. Oh yeah, Dad. Okay. All right. You does <laughs> does Liam swear? Uh. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Look at I him. Forget trying, what, to, I forget trying, trying to hold that shit. Back. Yeah, yeah. I, definitely. I, I, I could huh. read that look. I could read that every look. night. Should I tell him or not? Yeah, yeah that exactly. was that look. Exactly. Every night, I just go in my bedroom and swear. Yeah, just let it rip. Let it rip. Nah, yeah. just kidding. Yeah. Okay. okay, next question. Hot dogs or hamburgers? Ham. Um. Oh. I would. I don't really like hamburgers. Wait. Do you mean cheeseburgers? Che sure, cheeseburgers. cheeseburgers. I like cheeseburgers better. You like cheeseburgers better yeah. than hot dogs? Yeah. Spaghetti or chicken nuggets? Chicken nuggets. Oh yes, the McDonald's chicken nuggets are so good. These are those, those are the best. I do yeah, not. I do not like spaghetti. Hundred percent. You don't like spaghetti at all. Yeah, I don't like spaghetti. What, what if you made spaghetti with butter instead of tomato sauce? Uh, Would that be better? Or you I, don't like I pasta? I still don't care. I don't like pasta. You I like don't pasta. know. That's good. That's good pasta. I kind. I kind of wow. like pasta. Hmm. Really. Now you know why he's really thin. McDonald's or Chick Fil A? Uh, I'll go for. That's a hard question. <laughs> yeah. I would go for that's a hard question. Yeah, yeah that's a hard question. You, you, do you want to plead the fifth on that one? Yeah. Plead the fifth <laughs> is just meaning you don't you're not going to answer because you don't want to incriminate yourself. You don't want to be you don't want to cause problems for yourself. Next that's question. That's what plead the fifth. Sure. Means. Yeah. I'll be the fifth. <laughs> okay, next question. Sonic or tropical treat? <clears throat> I don't even know what tropical treat. No, we don't know what we, tropical Sonic. treat. We've never <clears throat> been to tropical treat. We've yeah. seen, we've drive by, it. we drive by it all the time, but we've never been to it. So. What is it? Yeah, it's a restaurant. Yeah, have you been to Sonic? Oh yeah, yeah we've been yes, to Sonic. definitely. Yeah, it, we've been it, to Sonic. It's a lot like Sonic, but maybe the food might be a little bit different. Yeah, better. I've never been there either, so it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, Sonic! I'm just gonna say Sonic. I had a sandwich there from one time. It just. It's always busy, so I never stopped it. Right, that's my okay. point. Okay, Pizza Hut or Domino's? Uh, oh, I hate pizza. Yeah, he Do you really? Pizza. Yes. He doesn't like pizza. He, what, what I don't of, know what happened. What kind of kids are you raising? He loves fruit, man. It's crazy, but he loves fruit. Me yeah. too. He's a, yeah, you Pears. barely like fruit. I eat the heck out of Be quiet. I love watermelon. Yeah, I love watermelon. There you go. Uh, right, name right there. name like your fruit. three favorite desserts. Desserts. Uh... You mean like ice cream? Sure. A anything. Um, pe uh, that would probably be peanut butter, chocolate, ice cream, and... Watermelon. <laughs> oh, my God. <gasps> oh, yeah. Watermelon. Yes. Dude, I just bought a watermelon. This fucking kid ate it all. A whole half of it. Oh, whole, <laughs> no, he ate more than that. He ate pieces out of the other part, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> And I actually, I ate the whole thing. Oh, yeah. I ate and the whole his mom. dump comes out with okay. seeds. Okay. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, back up. Back up, back up. Back up from the mic. Don't get too it close does. to me. It does. Okay. What is your favorite holiday? 
Uh, Christmas, obviously. Okay, do you like Christmas? Yes. That was the next question. I mean, probably. I know. If it's your favorite holiday, then you're going to like it, probably. What did you get for Christmas this year? I do not remember at all. You know what? Declan. You pro- do you remember anything you got for Christmas? An Xbox One. We got... Um, wait, an, wait, well, it's an wait, Xbox One S. Wait, wait, we, wait. We, don't, we didn't get anything for Christmas. You don't know why? Because we didn't have Christmas this year. You are mm-hmm. technically correct. And I was waiting for somebody to pick up wow. on that. Good job. Yeah. I'm smart. Good You're job. You're smart. We had Christmas last year. That's yeah, it. Yeah, whatever. Do you like Fourth of July? Uh, Fireworks. Yeah. Do you know what it's about? Fireworks. <laughs> no, it's about celebrating the, uh, America, the, America's yeah. birthday, right. America's birthday. Yes. Do you like picnics? Uh, yeah. I've never really been on one. Well, I'm I'm, so. pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we've been on a picnic. Yeah. Maybe like I one, like picnics. Maybe like once or twice. I think maybe what you think in a picnics is like actually packing a basket at home full of food, going out in a field, laying down a blanket and eating right there. Not, a picnic is any time you go outside to eat. Yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, we've had, picnic. yeah, yeah, we've, we've we've had, had picnics. Yeah, we've had those. Like family, like at family reunions, reunions and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay, next question. Do you like to go swimming? <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh we just my. went swimming yes. today. Oh yes, we just went swimming today. Oh, That's tough. Cool. Where at? Gettysburg. Gettysburg. Okay. Okay. Do you like fireworks? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I guess yes. So, do you like fire? No. Do you like work? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I like work. You like work? All right. Do you, do you like music? Uh, well, I guess that answers the next question. For me, yes, <laughs> I love music. Music, I, all I, I just I like music. Not too loud, dude. Not too much, though. You don't. So you don't play an instrument. Well, you do. No, I don't. Wait, do yeah, I? Yeah, you do. What recorder? Yeah, I play recorder. Do you yeah. sing? Yes. Do you like to sing? What happened? He just doesn't do it professionally yet. This this white earphone just went out. Do what? This earphone went out. Wiggle your cord. Oh, okay. But, dude, it's because you're rolling over top of it. That's why you got to get out. Oh, oh get wow! Out from underneath of that. Good job, Declan. <laughs> Liam, do you play an instrument? Um, I do play the piano in our upstairs in our house. He I, attempts to. I beatbox. It's not an instrument. Well, it kind of is. It's still music. It's still music. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. True. I beatbox. I sing in um, at school. I'm in chorus. Now I know your your older sister is quite the singer. Yes. yes. Do, do either does anybody else play an instrument? Um, uh, Brooklyn used to play the flute. She showed yeah. us. She showed us uh, her flute in a case. And Caitlin, she she got onto the voice um, for singing. She got onto the voice. So yeah, I remember her trying out. She didn't get one. into the voice. She just tried out. Oh she yeah, she just tried out. She got a chance to try out for it. And uh, she also has a music video that's got twenty million views to it. Yeah, too, twenty so. million, yeah. hey, like like um, I'm Mo and I know that's it. it yeah. Okay, Declan, do you listen to the Jeff and Dan show regularly? Uh, no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> do well, you like, because we're not old enough. Did that's you right. like being on the Jeff and Dan show? Uh. Wow, you really have to sit and think about this. Uh, See, it's not that bad. Right man. now, right now, it's I like that it. Bad. It's 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 much fun. I like it. Lots of fun. I like did, it. Did you ever hear yourself record? Did you ever hear the? Did you ever record your voice and play it back? Yes. Yes. Do you, we, think, do you yeah. think you sound funny to yourself? Not uh, really, but I think I sound better actually on do, video. You sound a lot like your sister. Yeah. Yeah. True. So. Yeah. We, we do do YouTube, so that's that's the reason why probably. Though. Wait, which sister, Brooklyn or Caitlin? Caitlin. Oh, I, I sound. I'm kind of like Brooklyn. All right. Well, that that does it for 42 questions. Thank you for playing, D Clan. Yes, D Clan. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> D Clan. D Clan. I actually I've been spelling your name wrong for years. I've been spelling it D E C L Y N. Yeah. Like your sisters. So All clan. right. It's actually just Brooklyn. It's D-Clan. True. Oh, my God. Caitlin spells hers differently, too? No. Yeah, but she spells it the old-fashioned way. I-N or Y-N? I-N. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. That's the thing you got to remember, man. All we, these we Lins, and you name them differently. I know, you right? spell them differently every time. Exactly. It's all Lynn. Brooke yeah. Lynn, I, Deck Lynn, Kate Lynn, and I'm the one that's William. Yeah, what yeah. happened? I yeah. don't know. He no. went with a naming conve- convention because he's my progeny. <laughs> yeah, so. Sad. Well, that does it for 42 questions. I'm going to go ahead and step out and let you guys talk. Oh, yeah. Sure you are. Okay. 
Done. All right, boys. We're going to have a talk. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. We're going to have the talk. The talk. The talk. Is the it talk. a game? What? Is it a game? It is not a game. This no. is not a game. This isn't this is not meant to be funny either, even though our show technically is usually kind of funny. This is not a fun funny topic, okay? I mean it will be you might giggle about it. I know me and Dan will probably be giggling it our asses off. It will be funny. All will right. Be funny. It will be, yeah. It this, will be funny. this is so much fun being on the show. Well good. Sure, I'm glad I you like it. It. We don't cool. really have anything to do except play video games closer. whenever it's dark out and you know, yeah. after a while okay. it just gets really tiring and everything. Yeah. Your dad should build you some lights outside yeah. so you can yeah. have like Yeah we I'm pretty, I, sure, I'm pretty sure he is. We're working on some stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're working on building a batting cage outside for Ooh, cool. like yeah. Football, yeah. Yeah. Soccer. soccer, and baseball. Not football, baseball just baseball and, and soccer. Why, why do you need a batting cage for football? Yeah, that's why I said we don't. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so here's Anyways. the deal. Here's the deal. We're, we're, I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to explain the birds and the bees to you. And the birds and the bees mean sex. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Is there are there any questions you have before we get started? Anything? Don't get embarrassed. Just ask the question. Let me know what you know what you oh. want to know. What you need to know. All um, right. Um, um. No questions. No questions. I really have a question, but okay. I'm gonna get so embarrassed. Don't don't get embarrassed. Just I've ask the question. I've had this question for so long. What color is sperm? White. White. Yes. I knew that. I was thinking about that. That's yes. Just, We'll talk about that more here in a minute. All right. So what we're going to do now is that, we're going to... That, exp- that was a very good question. It is. A very good sure. question. We will explain that. You, you'll understand more here in a few minutes. Um, what, we, what we want you to know is that Dan and I, Uncle Dan and I are here to help you, to figure out stuff you may need to know about the future. Uh, and it is a good time because you're getting ready to go through puberty. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which means, which means things are going to change. And I'll talk about more of that here in a minute, but let me go through this other stuff. Um, Can I interject real quick? Sure. You're about to go through changes. Everybody goes through changes. And, and of course, your dad and I went through changes. One thing that I didn't know until just recently is you don't stop changing. Right. You, you go through another change 10 years later, and another 10, another 10 years you change, and again until you're old and gray and decrepit. Right. And your dad and I are well on that way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're on that last path right so, now. So, so you never really stop changing. Exactly. Going through changes. Things are going to be things. Things are going to change, and you're going to notice the changes. As you know, both of you know, I'm I'm pretty sure there's a difference between people and the sex that they have. One of those is heterosexual. Oh. Heterosexual means that they are people who enjoy having sex with people of the opposite sex. Boy and girl. Uh. Me and mom would be heterosexuals because she's a girl and I'm a boy. Okay? Yeah, all right. And then there's also, and you know about this, there's also people that love the same sex. Which is being gay, yes. Right, and that, that is homosexuality. Not not just gay, but homosexuality. Homo know. meaning homo means the same. Right. Everybody's the same. Oh. And they like the same people. Do you have any friends or relatives that are gay? Uh, um not that you know no, of? No, I don't think so. I okay. don't think I know anybody. They have a couple, but we just don't really share it too much. They but anyway. They don't realize it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's, you know, not really that. Is it, I don't realize. Is it, I don't. Isn't Caitlin getting married with Michaela? No. Oh, yeah. That's Remember? just a joke, dude. <laughs> she, she was like, oh, me, here's the ring. Me and Michaela are married. Yeah, like, she's I just I was kidding. like, you're gay. Are you no, seriously gay? No, it was, it was gay? a joke. It was a joke. We'll, we'll talk about more, the more of the separation here a little bit later. Let's get okay. into this. All right. Okay. There's also something in sex called incest, okay? Okay. Incest is when you inappropriately have sex with somebody that's in your family, okay? Okay. Right. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, listen. That means you having sex with a sister. That means you having sex with a mother, a brother, a father, any of these people, okay? (laughs) Incest is inappropriate, and it's also against the law, okay? You will get... They're, they're, in society, people do not look kindly on people who commit incest. Okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and that means pretty much anybody in the family. Anybody. Just don't even look at the family. Look at other people. Okay? All right. Let's talk about the growth changes you're, gonna, you're going to expect. Things you're going to see. All right. Okay? You're going to have growth spurts. In other words, you're going to get bigger and taller and taller and bigger and bigger and taller. 
it's going to happen a great deal over a, a long period of time. Like Uncle Dan said, it's pretty much your whole life. The growth right now is upward. upward. You're actually going to get taller and you're going to get bigger. Okay? Mm -hmm. But eventually you're going to stop doing that and then you're just going to start getting smaller. You're going to get shorter. Okay? Eventually I'm going to shrink too. Not not just yet. I'm not ready. <laughs> I, I think I think generally when the male hits 18 is when he starts. Actually, that's the peak. Yes. And he actually does start shrinking at that age, but it's not even noticeable till. Yeah. I think it was 21 where they actually stop, but it differs for everybody. Okay. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. It's, it's different for everybody. Not everybody's the same. We'll talk about that here in a minute. I never knew you can get smaller. Yes. Yeah. You do get shorter over time. Grandma's not as tall as she used to be. She used to be as tall as mom. Okay. All right, so you're also going to grow body hair, okay? Puberty brings on body hair. You're going uh, to get hair on your balls. Balls, yes, I already do have hairs on my balls. You're going to get hair, more hair on your legs, oh, and you're okay. going to get more hair on your arms. You're going to get more hair under your arms, okay? Because right now you're bare. You don't have anything down there. Yeah. You're going to start growing hair there. Oh, God, okay? I'm sweating. Yes, it's, it's, pretty, <laughs> it's getting pretty clammy, I'm clammy sweating. in here. So it many is spores. Warm. It, it, it okay. is warm down here. Another thing you're going to experience is voice changes. Oh, okay. Your you're voice gonna, is going to get lower. It's going to get deeper, right? Yes. It's going to get like mine. It's going to be very low. And I'm pretty sure that both of you are going to have a low, deep voice. Declan apparently is going to have a lower voice. Right, a very, very you, deep yeah. voice. Remember you said, Declan, when he was a baby, he, his crying was like this. He was like, wah, yeah, yeah. wah. Yeah, it was really low. Uh, you're also going to... Okay, you're also going to experience what they call hormonal changes, okay? That's chemistry. That's stuff that's inside your body. That's going to change. You're going to become things you're going to be able to, the things that you can do but you're not going to be able to control are things like anger, insecurity. Anger is when you get angry and you're mad at something. Insecurity yes. means Insecurity means that you can't trust somebody or something because you feel that they're not going to, you know, stay faithful to you or they're not going to be friends with you or, you know, saying like things where, where you feel like something's wrong with this person and I need to know what it is. That's kind of what insecurity is. Another thing is the ability to bulk up muscle. That's another hormon hormonal change. You get a thing called human growth hormones that are running through your body right now. They're going to be more and more and more until you become 18 to 21, somewhere in there. You're going to be able to pack on muscle, okay? During your puberty years, you will start gaining more muscle than you have throughout any part of your life, okay? I'm going to go to the gym. Well, you can do that, but it's, it's just as easy to do it by being outside playing ball. I was going to say, when you're 15, 16, you don't have to go to the gym because your body knows what it's doing. Just keep playing. Just keep playing sports. You could go to the gym if you wanted to, but... Exactly. Um, another thing you're going to notice a change is acne. Now, I don't think you guys are going to have zits because the majority of my children don't have zits. And from what I found out, that's pretty much my father's side because the, none of them. They're all, you know, extremely, yeah. The Schmitz are acne people. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, no. kind of, but not kind really. Of. I don't know. I never, I've never... Yeah. Not not, not large acne, not large acne, but that's the one thing I worry about the most is large acne, like big pimples and stuff. Because when those pop, then they leave like those huge ass yes. craters. Yes. Oh. Okay, so you're gonna get acne. You're gonna notice the other sex more. Girls in become words, pretty, right? You're gonna see girls, and you're gonna be like, oh, she's nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so that's what it's gonna be like. You're gonna be like, oh yeah, she's cute. I like her. Okay. So that may not happen right now, but in a few years that'll happen, and that's good. If you start seeing a girl, and she looks appealing to you, that's fine. That's the way it should be. Oh yeah. Just don't act on it. <laughs> uh, and then you're going to you're going to uh, have things called erections. Uh, okay. Erections. All of a sudden, everything comes to a screeching halt. Yes, erections. I You're had one once. They are totally overrated. I know, right? What are, are, what are <laughs> erections? We're, we're going to explain this. We're going to explain this right now. An erection is... Remember I told you you are going to get bigger? Yes. yes. Well, your penis is going to get bigger. Um, no, no, no. Listen, listen. Nine inches. Maybe. <laughs> you never know. Hey, you never know. You never know. Nine inches is good. <laughs> but listen... Okay, they're going to get bigger. They're going to get bigger and they're going to get longer. Okay? Listen, right. listen. An erection is the ability for your penis to get hard. 
Okay. It goes from this to this. Okay. This goes from soft, just hanging there. Smooth. Right, but no, not really. This is going to be, it's going to be as hard as this can. Jeez. Or, or maybe, maybe your finger. As or hard your as finger. your finger. Right. It could be as hard as your finger. That is a hard penis. Right. We still have a softness. Ow. Listen, listen. You still have a softness on the outside of your finger. You can feel it. There's softness there. Yeah. But then when you tap it on something, it's hard. See? Stop. Stop. That's what an erection is going to be like. Okay? You're going to get them. They're going to happen. You don't have a choice. Your body is going to do that shit to you, and it's going to be bad. A lot of times it happens in the morning. Right. And that's a very good sign. Yes. It's healthy. It's very healthy, especially if you have them throughout the night while you're sleeping. But you're also going to get them at times you don't want them. Okay? You're going to be sitting in class, and anything... A stiff breeze blows through the room, and all of a sudden, you're going to get an erection. Or the smell of a sweet girl's perfume. It's, yes. So that, it could be a hamburger that you've really been craving lately, and it gives you one. That's just what happens, okay? Those erections suck. I mean, because <laughs> they are things that are just going to be standing out before you because your pants are going to be pushing out with your penis being hard. <laughs> right. Is that the same thing as a boner? Yes. 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 That's exactly. Yes. I have a boner yes. all the time. Yes. There's three different all names. The There's three different <laughs> names and they all mean the same thing. Erection, boner, and hard on. Hard on. Hard on, hard on is what that means. You've got hard on, okay? So you're going to expect that these things are going to happen to you through school. There is no easy way to get rid of an erection. There is none. You cannot just, you know, hope it down or like do anything to make it go away. It just stays. Okay. You just have to learn how to deal with it. And it's going to be embarrassing. There's going to be a time where the teacher says, why don't you come up here and pick a book for us? And you're going to say, I can't really do that right at the moment. See what I'm saying? Yes. There's a way to be able to tell teachers that they're going to understand if you say something to the effect of, you know, I, I really can't right this moment. We don't usually use that, though, because if you do, sometimes other kids in the class are like, he's got an erection. <laughs> you know? So you don't necessarily want to do that. But the oh one God. thing you need to know is that they're going to happen. And when they do, they suck. They really do suck. It, I mean, it, it's it's not a bad thing. No, and, no, no. And it's not really anything to be embarrassed about, even though kids and your friends maybe might make fun of it but how can i say this they would understand it jeff like yeah that's my shit yeah yeah it's kind of a kind of a proud thing to yeah, have yeah it's a proud thing to have yes it's a proud thing to be able to show off your sexuality but don't that doesn't mean you just walk around and start showing it to people okay <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mean you walk down the hall strutting with it hanging and wanging you know what i'm saying you don't want that okay? look because, at my penis everybody okay. right right you don't you don't want to do that hey Hey, you will end up with a jail t uh, sentence by doing that kind of shit. So don't do yeah. that kind of shit, okay? Once it happens to you and you get hard, you're going to be like, oh my God, I don't want to fucking go out anywhere. This sucks, okay? Uh, and the last thing we need to talk about with this is there's something which you've already questioned about. There's uh, sperm, semen, okay? Now, people will tell you that they're one and the same. They are not one and the same. Semen is a liquid that does not have sperm in it. It's just a liquid. It is white, but it's mostly clear. Okay? So it's like an opaque white. Basically, it's like you would almost see through the white. Okay? It reminds me of milk. milk. Kind of. Yeah, that's, that's what I think weak of too. Milk. Yes, very weak milk. Sperm, on the other hand, is white. Okay? And every single sperm that you have, when your, your testicles drop which they're going to do, they're going to fall, okay? They're going to start hanging, and they're going to hurt. Hanging if and you get If you get busted in your balls after they drop, you are going to be in so much pain, it is not even funny. Have you ever been hit there? Yes, they yes, have. Yes, okay. I have. Yes. And it doesn't hurt them quite as much because they haven't dropped yet, but when you do, I promise you, you will hit the ground. The first time I had my balls kicked or something kicked into my balls, I dropped to the ground. Not a damn thing you can do about it because the pain is that bad, okay? Every it's, guy's got to go through. Right. I, I, I quote, you know, it's just, just funny, but I quote 
you know, women got the bad stuff like having periods and, and getting pregnant. We got the balls. And the balls is if you get kicked in the balls, you're going to go down. And that's our weakness. And that's what women, ex- they know, you know, that thing. They know that your balls hurt if they kick them. So <laughs> be careful. That's okay? one of women's defense mechanisms, exactly. believe it or not. Yes, they will go for the balls. Now, let me explain the difference between semen and sperm, Okay. Semen is the shuttle. It's like a cart that will carry stuff. Okay, just like a just like a big boat for the most part. It carries stuff, and it greases up the ways to come out of your penis. It goes from your testicles through your penis and out. Okay. Oh, so pee. Mm. No, no, it's not pee. It is not pee. It's not even similar to pee. <laughs> pee is a different thing. It comes from a different place. Do that you, comes from your bladder. Do you know what a bladder yes. is? Yes. Yes. It's okay. like right here yeah i do not Re- know where it is really close to your bladder it, you know when you have to go pee yeah yes it feel it feels full in there yeah that's your bladder bladder's full oh. yes really close to your bladder i think it's under but i'm not sure is is an um uh, an organ it is what makes the semen yes it's it, called the prostate the te- the balls make the sperm yes the, the prostate makes the semen. They get together and, and, then it come, and then it comes out. Yes. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's your bladder. Okay. There's a series of tubes coming out of your bladder that go down to where your penis is at. Okay. Mm-hmm. Before it gets to the penis, there goes through a small network called the vas deferens. Okay. I know it's a weird term. You won't use it very often, but it's called the vas deferens. I'm writing it down right now. <laughs> <laughs> the vas deferens are responsible for turning off your pee and turning on your sperm. Or vice versa, turning off your sperm and turning on your pee. In other words, it's just like a little switch that says, oh, you can go pee now. And then it allows you to pee. Because if you didn't have that thing, you would be, you would be ejaculating, which is what it's called when you emit sperm or semen, or both. It's called ejaculation. And if something happens that it, those two things weren't able to, to flip that little switch you would do both at the same time, which would not be good for your body. Okay? You can pee a whole lot more than you can ejaculate. Is okay? that why you can't pee when you have a boner? Correct. Because the vas deferens, if you have an erection, okay, especially in the morning, which they call that morning wood, um, especially in the morning, it's very difficult to go pee. Okay? Not only is it really difficult to go pee, but sometimes pee just doesn't come out in the right direction. You'll start to pee and it'll start going like this over here and you're pissing, you're pissing all over the wall and you're like, holy fuck, you know, and you're like, holy shit, get that back in there, you know, dude, get in the bowl, right? That's what happens. That's what happens. You will, you will discover that's what goes on and it sucks. It really does suck. It really sucks. And that's, there's nothing you can do about it. It's part of growing up. It's part of life. You will, you will adapt to these things. You will wake up with morning wood and be happy sometimes. Sometimes they call it a morning glory. (laughs) <laughs> multiple names for what happens when you wake up with one, okay? Now, here's the interesting part. All of your friends are going to go through this too. All of them. Mm-hmm. Every oh. single one of them. There isn't one that won't go through it unless they have some disease. Oh. Gr- girls with- Diabetes! No, that, that, that doesn't, doesn't affect you. No. I know, I know it does Girls go through changes too. Yes. They go through different changes than you, than you do. Much more complex and harder to describe. Right. As much their mind is. Very complex and harder to describe. <laughs> it's true. Um, okay. So your friends will go through them. So it's not just going to be you that's going through it. But not everybody goes through it at the same time. Your friend, Daniel, might end up going through it later than you do. Like, don't or you, earlier. Don't you go through puberty like from 12 to 16 years old? Sometimes. Generally. Some, uh, generally. All right, all right. I did not start growing hair into my underarms until I was 19. 19. 19. 19. Wow. Yes. All right. I grew hair on my balls a lot earlier than that. I was like 11, maybe. I 12. already have hair on my balls. Okay, well, I don't want to know about it. You're already, <laughs> I, you're probably already started. Yeah, I, I think you're getting ready to, yeah, I think you're getting ready to drop soon. Usually you do it around 11. So. I'm going to be, oh God, I'm going to be going through okay. puberty. <laughs> All right. All right, come on. We got more of this to go All through. Right. Hang on. Once you realize that you're going through those changes, you will realize that this is about sex, okay? The erection is basically for a human being, male, to put semen and sperm into a female in order for her to have babies. We know that. Okay. Yes, we know. That's what I kind of figured. 
wait, wait. wait. Where did you learn that from? Well, Liam the me. first thing, the first time we, um, we, you know, knew about it is we were at the Starlight Diner in um, Hanover. Uh-huh. Um, one of our sister's friends, what was her name? Um, I'm not sure, but she, she um, was teaching us all about sex because we didn't, we didn't even know what it was or anything. So Is she hot? <laughs> um, yeah. Don't mention her name. Whatever you do, do not mention her name. All right, anyway. I will not mention her yeah, name. Yeah, it's not fair to mention somebody who can't defend themselves. Okay, so you kind of know stuff, but you don't know it all. So we're getting ready to explain it to you. Okay, so you're gonna go, you're gonna grow up, and you're gonna start getting erections. And girls are gonna grow up, and their boobs are gonna get bigger, and their vaginas are gonna get bigger, and they're gonna grow hair on their vaginas, and they're gonna grow hair under their arms. Okay. Okay. Now what you need to know is this. An erection is you standing out as a pole, okay? With the female, the vagina goes into their body, okay? Goes, there's a hole that actually goes up into their body. That's considered the vagina, okay? The objective here is when you get older, not anytime soon, you take your penis and you stick it into her vagina. That's sex. <laughs> yes, I know that. Okay, okay. Well. That. First things first, you need to know that getting a, preg- a girl pregnant is not cool. Not cool at all. As a matter of fact, if you get a girl pregnant, I will probably execute you well before your prime. Like James Bond. Yeah, yeah. Don't make me have to do that shit because I really don't want to do that. Okay. Execute me? Yeah, I don't want to have to execute you, man. Jeez. Well, Brie. What? What about Brie? She is. No, she's fine. Oh, yeah. I'd just be That's rolling up fine. on you and be like... You're out. <laughs> next? Yeah. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> All right. Your mom is next. Oh, sex, get ready. Okay. <laughs> sex, sex is, you're going to find that sex is a desire. Okay? You don't, you don't know it now. But within like four or five years from now, maybe even three years from now, you're going to feel a, more of a pressure in your body. You're going to feel like you desire to have sex. Okay? A deep I already do now, actually. That's Well, that's of, the thing. Siva, here, That's listen. normal. You, it is normal, but here's the thing. You do not want to push yourself into that realm. You don't want to rush into having sex. Yeah, okay? no, need, no need to rush it. No rushing, okay? Just be a kid. Have fun being a kid. Because once you take that path of sex, everything changes. Yes. Everything changes, and your life goes downhill very quickly. You change. You don't get to be a kid anymore. Now you've got responsibilities. Now you've got to worry about bitches and, and thugs and shits and all kinds of stuff. You You can... Have sex the rest of your life, all the way up until you're a dead old man. You can only play baseball while you're a kid and right. a young adult. Yes, unless of course you get in the big leagues, which you want to do. But you know, so and en- so enjoy playing baseball. Sex yeah. will come. Sex will come. That's right. It will. Okay. The other thing you need to know: sex is really, really best when you truly love the person that you're with. Okay. There are people in the world that just want to have sex for the hell of it. Like, oh, rapist, you know. Well, no, that's more of a, a that, yeah, that, that's really a bad thing. I think I think rapists have something wrong with their brain. Yeah, yeah usually probably. there's something, yeah. yeah, mentally deficient. Their brain's a little. I was just gonna mention something, but I just I was just like, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention. Okay, it. well, here's what you need to know: if you ever, ever, ever feel the need to want to rape a woman. Do not do it. It is a life sentence at that point. Okay? Okay. You go and you find somebody who does it professionally and you relieve yourself with that person. Usually a prostitute is what I'm talking about. There are always outlets for sex. Let's just put it that way. If you have money, which if you don't have a girlfriend, you're going to have money. (laughs) <laughs> you're not spending your money on a girl. right exactly I then know. you can fly to las vegas or out to nevada where sex is legal and you can have sex with a prostitute yep. at that point it's going to cost you 500 bucks to go out there get screwed and come back get laid and come back that's, that's a lot of money laid. it is a lot of money but i tell you what 500 dollars is better to put in than you going finding somebody and raping them and then going to prison for a very long time. And then if you do get out, you're they, gonna have, you're gonna have to pay a bill. No, no. When you well yeah, you're gonna have to restitution. But when you come out, you're going to have to to 
put your name on a list of people who have done bad sexual things. Your life will be ruined. Your life will be ruined. I'm not kidding. Your life will be ruined. People will never, ever trust you. You will move someplace and people will come to your house and write mean, nasty shit. Leave it on your doorstep, on your car. Some people may even come to your house and beat you to death. Because they don't oh, like man. the because they don't like the fact that you moved into their neighborhood only because you went and raped a woman one time, dude. There are even times where guys have only ever gotten their penis out to piss on a tree. Somebody saw them, they got arrested, and now they had to be on that list. Can you imagine what that's like? Peeing on a tree and you go to prison. <laughs> right, but no, you're not listening. The point is, you're going to be on that list. That Megan's Law list. And if you're on that list, people are going to know where you are. I think what your dad's trying to say is, you don't understand right now, but right. you will. Right. Just be good. I yeah. don't know how else to say. Just be good. Don't make the right decision. Sex can be something that, 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 that you'll, 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 uh, yeah, I'm a good teacher. You'll find out. <laughs> Sex right. is... I can't even say what I'm thinking, so pass. Sex is fun, and I promise you, you guys will not have problems finding partners, okay? But then, until then, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. You don't need to have sex. Not anywhere close to now. You have plenty of time to do it, okay? All right. Um, there's also something called condoms. What you put on your penis. Right. Uh, it get, it um, prevents giving diseases to... Correct. You, know, okay. you don't get You're sexually talking. transmitted diseases from that. Right. And you also... What else? What else? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know when you have sex, like when you put your penis into inside of a woman? Yes. And then you... Ejaculate? Make sperm? Yeah. Yes. You that sperm yes. impregnates a woman and makes a woman pregnant. Right. Yes. So... Condoms keep you from giving sperm off? Or? You got it. You're a smart guy. Yes. It keeps you from getting a woman know. pregnant, usually. It's not It's not foolhardy. You could still technically get a woman pregnant. You could also still get an STD from wearing a condom. Yes. What's an STD? Sexually transmitted disease. Okay. Got it? All right. Um, and that's why condoms work. Condoms basically are just a, a sack. And you'll learn this in school. I will let them teach you this. But basically, you take that and you push it down over top of your penis when it's erect. Okay? And that goes all the way down and then you have sex. Okay? There's a lot more to it. And I promise you, you will learn over time what that, exactly that means. But there's a lot more to that. But that is the basic nature of how you put on a condom to protect yourself and to protect that girl. Now, the next thing that you need to know is that you must have, and when you use a condom, it's called safe sex. Okay? That's why you hear people talking about, if you're going to do it, do safe sex. That's what they mean. They're talking about using a condom and using something to protect yourself. Okay? You can get condoms anywhere, pretty much. You can go to Rudders right now and buy some. You can go to the pharmacy and buy some, okay? Rudders. When Uncle Dan, yeah, when Uncle Dan and I were growing up, it was scary to walk in a place and ask for a condom. It was. If you went into like a pharmacy, you were afraid that people were going to hear you. And they were going to be like, oh, he's having sex. <laughs> but here's, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you a little story. Yeah. It, it's true. It happened to me. In the little town that I'm from, there's a pizza joint, little mom and pop pizza joint, like Jim and Nina's. Yeah. Like Jim and Nina's. But inside the men's room, they had these um, uh, vending machines. Vending machines. Put two quarters in, and that's, that's what I did. I was curious. I didn't want anybody to know because in my little town, in my school, if they knew I was buying a condom, then they would say, why are you buying a condom? Right. You don't have a girlfriend. Why are you buying a Hey, everybody, Dan cursed at her, bought a condom. Yeah. Hey, why does he need a condom if he doesn't have a girlfriend? So that's why it was embarrassing. You guys are at an advantage today that you can just walk into any store nonchalant and right. get one. Here's what you should think. When you're old enough to have sex, okay, and you're going to have sex with a, a, a woman, 
you need to go and get yourself condoms. Don't be afraid to do it. There's no reason to be afraid to do it. It's just like now if I go to a grocery store, I can buy a mom or your sisters or any of the, you know, females in my life. I can buy them their, their products that they need, their feminine hygiene products, which we won't go into right now, but we will probably in a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> okay. If you have sex with a girl, you need to find out if she's on birth control or not. What's birth control? <clears throat> birth control is a pill that they take. <clears throat> daily that allows them to not get pregnant. Okay. But even if they are on birth control, you still need to use a condom. Okay. Cause, cause the pill isn't always guaranteed to work. Right. And it doesn't prevent sexual transmitted diseases. STDs. That's what STD stands for. It doesn't prevent those from happening. Okay. Um. Okay, and uh, Uncle Dan already covered this, but I'm going to go back over it again, okay? You're going to meet a woman at some point in time, and you're going to want to have sex with her, okay? It's going to be a force that overcomes you, that's something you can't just go, uh, what do I do now? What do I do now? You you, you have the urge. This This... Being inside of you will just come out and say, I desperately want to make sweet love to you. Yeah. Practice saying that. No, I'm just kidding. But that's what it's like. It's just like, it just, oh, I just desperately. Yeah. Overwhelming desire. It's that's overwhelming what desire. That's, yeah. that's. Something inside <laughs> you comes up to you and says, hey, man, I really, really need to lay in bed with this woman. I need to lay. I need to get laid with her. Yeah. She is so pretty. You can do that. Yep. So hot. That's what that is. And it comes down to what you do and how you do it. Now, if you do some stuff before you actually have what they call vaginal penetration, which means intercourse, which is sex, that's called intercourse, which is funny because we have a town here in Pennsylvania called intercourse. Hmm. Um, if you put your penis into her vagina, that is sex. That is just sex. Okay? If you... Th what happens is then you have to thrust in and out of the vagina, basically. In and out. Yes, in and out. The reason being is because you need to stimulate your penis. The reason why we have sex to begin with is to procreate, to create babies. Initially, that's all the reason why we had it. Reproduction. Yes, yeah. reproduction. You got it. Now, the thing is, they... When you're doing that, that is just sex, okay? There are other types of sex, and those other types of sex are not typical. They're not normal, what 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 we would call Christian What sex. about butt sex? Good. We're talking about that. That's yes. right where we're going. That's right where we're headed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about butt sex. Uh, okay. There's two, two, two other forms of sex that you need to know about. One of them is oral sex. Okay. Oral sex means that you put your mouth or someone else puts their mouth on your privates. Uh, okay. Like eating a vagina or yes. a female sucking your penis. Rest. You got yes. it. That is oral sex. Okay. That's what happens. The thing is, though, is you don't need to do any of that stuff right now. What you need to concentrate on is being a kid and not worrying about that other shit. Okay. That's for you to learn down the road, okay? Play baseball. Though. Now, like Uncle Dan said, there might be an overwhelming desire for you to have a person do that. Maybe not just sex, maybe oral sex, okay? Oral sex is defined by something different than just normal sex. It's something called sodomy, okay? Sodomy is a part of things what we call foreplay, okay? Foreplay is what happens before you have sex. So foreplay is before sex. So there's a time period that could be anywhere from two minutes to 25, 30 minutes, depending on how long it takes her to do her thing. <laughs> but that's, I mean, that's really not sex. That's oral sex. It's something totally different. Okay. Then you have regular sex usually. Okay. But sex is actually called anal sex. Okay, because you have anus, you know, we always anus. talk about the anus. You know. I used to think an anus. I used Your to anus. I thought, 
I thought an anus was actually your penis, but no. now I know it's yeah, like it's, it's your, your like inside your butthole. Yes, like it inside. opens up and lets feces out, which is yes. poop. Very of good. Course. Yeah. Very yes. good. Very good. Yes, the actual thing we call an asshole <laughs> is Bob over there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, the actual thing we get call, out of here, Bob. Uh, yeah, sorry. The actual thing we call an asshole is actually a sphincter. That's not the anus. That's an asshole. That's basically all that is. If you really need the common medical term for it, it's sphincter. That's all it is. It's called a sphincter because it has the ability to open and close. I think, actually, it's just a muscle. Yeah. A muscle? It's yes. just a muscle. It's a muscle. As a matter of fact, it's the strongest muscle around that general area down there. Because yeah. it has the ability to squeeze very, very tight if it has to. Trust me, we know. <laughs> Butt sex, that's where it comes in. Uh, and that's the thing. You don't need to necessarily do that. Most women do not like butt sex. They will not do anal sex, okay? You need to understand that it is a very perverse thing to do anal sex with anyone because it's not right to do that. It, it was The parts were not made for that. A lot of women and a lot of men will tell you that their butts... Jacqueline, are you paying attention? Um, okay. I was He's okay. getting well, you need to look nervous. He's like, I don't know. Oh, he's him. fine. He he's like, I'm, like, I'm learning all about this stuff, and I'm just getting so embarrassed right here. He's fine. <laughs> you just need to pay attention, though, okay? The thing is, is that anal sex is not, it, it's a diversion from what you should be doing at regular sex, okay? You will find that most men and women do not like any type of anal penetration. They don't like to have anything going in their butt. As a matter of fact, many people will say it's exit only. In other words, you shit out of it, and that's all it does. You don't do anything else, okay? Maybe wrap some toilet paper around it and, you know, clean it off. I'm a super-duper pooper. And, uh, you know, that that's basically it. It's an output, and that's only it, nothing else fits in there, okay? Good. I, I just have lots of questions that are just kind of, like, not related to nor would they understand. You, you said it, it's a perversion, and yes... Yeah. Yes, but it, but at the same time, you look at a pretty girl's butt and you think, well, she has a nice looking butt. Yeah. But I, I don't know if it's necessarily that you want to have sex with her butt more than it's just she has good bearing hips for children. Maybe that's really what it comes down to. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Next topic: <laughs> animal magnetism. Woo so anyway, that's what that is. Both of those things, anal sex and oral sex, are called sodomy. Okay. Here's what you need to know. In several states in the United States, sodomy is illegal. Okay? So if you do oral sex or anal sex with anybody, it's illegal. Especially here in the state of Pennsylvania. It's illegal. But here's the problem. Nobody comes into your bedroom and watches you have sex. Do you remember when your dad said a couple paragraphs ago, it's important that when you do decide to have sex, it's with someone you love? Yes. That's because the person that you're in love with isn't going to... We told you there's things you could do with sex that would get you in trouble and get you in jail. Right. Yeah. When you do Like it, peeing on a tree. Like yes. peeing on a tree. Exactly. When, you, when exactly. you're with someone you love, you can pee on a tree and she won't call the cops. Right. She may, she may yell at you and say, why are you peeing on a tree? Yeah. But she won't call the cops. Yeah. But and she more than likely won't call the cops if you do something like oral sex. But you need to be concerned because that still is illegal and if somebody goes against you with it, they will take you to court and you will lose. Basically all they have to do is prove that they did it or you did it or whatever. And all they have to say is it wasn't consensual. Remember we talked about rape a few minutes ago? Yes. Consensual sex means that the person that you're with consented or said yes to you having sex with them that is the legitimate form of sex you have consensual sex it means you and that person agreed to having sex and no, nothing more can be said about it so that's the thing if you do something like that and you rape somebody which you better not because we already talked about how bad that is very bad yes if you go and have, you know, if you if you were to do something like that and you did something like, you know, sodomy, like I was just talking about, then you have the ability to go to jail even longer because it's against the law. When somebody says, oh, they raped me, it's usually just sex. But if they did other stuff, 
then that can add on to your sentence. And basically, they're called sodomy laws, okay? But that's the only way you would really get kind of caught with that. Okay, there are numerous, numerous sexual positions, okay? I'm not going to go into detail. I'm not going to explain every single position. I'm only going to tell you the one position you need to know about. This is the Christian position. It's called missionary, okay? Missionary position is when a woman is laying down on her back, flat on a bed. She has her legs spread apart. The man is between her, having sex with her on top of her. That is missionary position. It is the only way missionary is done. Okay? That is sex in missionary style. There are numerous, numerous other positions. I am not going to sit here and explain them all to you. Eventually, you're that, going to discover what they are. That is your very basic sex. Yes. What, the, the basic one. The basic one. Some people, when they're very religious, they believe in God, and that's what they, they believe in. The only thing they do is have sex to procreate. In other words, create a baby. And the only way they will have sex is missionary style. Okay? They won't do it any other way. They'll just do it that way. That was supposedly the God-given way to have sex. Although I tend to disagree, but, you know. And, and I disagree, too. I, I think I think it's there for your enjoyment and pleasure. Yeah, there's other ways to do it. I think there's another way that's actually more natural than, you know. But, you know, I, I digress. <laughs> well, why don't you tell us that natural one, that one that you think that's more natural? No, I don't want to tell you that one. Maybe later in life. Right. I'm not going to tell you right now. You don't need to know about it because you're going to be sitting here picturing all this shit tonight when you're going to bed anyway. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, my God. All right. So here's the important one, okay? And you two need to listen to me about this because you're about to become older and you're about to start going through these changes. There is something that every person on this planet has done at least once. It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter if they're completely religious. It doesn't matter. They've probably done it in one form or another. There's a thing called masturbation. Do okay. you know what that is? Um, I'm not sure. It's like, isn't it like you're like touching yourself? No, I'm not sure. No, no. Say it. What were you saying? Touch when like you're like sitting all alone and you're like touching yourself. Yes. Yep. That is yep. masturbation. Yep. Masturbation is the fine art of touching yourself. Basically, sex with okay. yeah, sex with yourself. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's sex with yourself exactly. because uh, it just involves you, right? And your imagination, right? My imagination. You're left to your imagination, and there are numerous devices. Okay, when you become 13 years old, you might start having erections. As soon as you have those erections, you might find, hey, man. I'm feeling a little frisky. Frisky means, oh, I need to have sex. One of those ways to prevent you from going out and raping somebody is to masturbate. Okay? 95% of all men masturbate. We just don't all fucking men. talk about it. Okay? You don't walk into a bar and be like, yep, get me a milk beer. Yeah, I just was outside touching my cock. Here, take this $5 <laughs> bill. Okay? You don't do that. No man does that. But it is a but it is an unwritten law and a thing that's known between all of us that we do it. We just okay. don't talk about we it. We just don't talk about it. We don't need to talk about it. There's no reason to talk about you it. You would get embarrassed, wouldn't you? No. I'm talking about it right now, but I'm not getting embarrassed. Oh, all right. Well. That's the thing. You don't need to be embarrassed about this kind of stuff. This stuff is natural. All of this is natural, yeah. dude. You don't have to be embarrassed about it. If you yeah. took if you took every person that we have in my family, okay? Took all of their ages, okay? Put them end to end, everybody that's alive. Put everybody end to end, age-wise. You know, like I'm 46, mom's 40, 29. Um, you know, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, put them, put your 11, put your 9, add all those times up, okay? You would come up with thousands of years, okay? Because there's a lot of us. Thousands of years, and guess what? Masturbation was around before that. Before that. Before that. Yes, masturbation what? has been around since we became human beings. Yeah. You're telling me a fish touch like dinosaurs? No, 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 no. Masturbating? No, I'm talking about human. <laughs> I'm talking about human beings. <laughs> oh, human beings. Human All beings, right. right? Humans have been masturbating longer than you could possibly even picture. Millions of years. Since we became around about 2 million, to be exact. First person? Yes. 
First person probably realized, oh, there's this itch I really need to scratch. Oh, yeah, I like the way that is. <laughs> and then they realized, oh, wow, that's fun. I'm going to keep doing it. Masturbation has been around for God knows how long. Back in my mom's day, back in, grandma, or in the grandma's day, back in my mom's day and pop pop's day, that was bad. You didn't touch yourself because it was bad. You didn't admit it. The Bible told you not to touch yourself. Don't commit that sin because that's a sin. But just like he said, they still did it. They just wouldn't admit it. And that's the reason why we just don't talk about it. Okay? <clears throat> Here's what you need to know about masturbation. You do it alone. Like I said, yes. Someone. Yes. By yourself, in private. In other words, you lock yourself away so nobody can find you. And make sure that nobody can find you. Okay? Now, here's the thing. Mom's never going to understand if you need to do it in the future. Okay? But I will. All you need to say is, Dad, I need a couple minutes alone in my room. Fine. Go do your thing. The problem with our room is we have a screen door. Right. But that's not going to so. be the, that's not going to be there forever. That's actually going to come down and you're going to get a regular door. Okay. Oh, yes. Now Very we can soon. have some private time. Very soon. But that's the thing. I need to ensure that both of you know. What it what entails for sex, and that you know that things like incest are bad, okay? That you two should not touch one another ever when it comes to that. You can fight, you can beat each other up, fine, but don't do anything sexual, okay? Because that is bad. It's beyond bad, okay? And that kind of stuff will get you into lots of trouble. All right. What's the matter? All right. His glasses. <laughs> <clears throat> so masturbation, that's what it is. It is healthy to masturbate. The reason why it is healthy is because your prostate, which is a gland that sits in your in your anus, right below above your, your anus. Below your bladder. Below your bladder, yes. Like Dan said. Yes, creates semen. And here's the thing. Semen has an expiration date. Okay, semen is just this slippery soap type shit. That's basically what it is. But it has an expiration date. If you don't get rid of the semen in your system within a certain amount of time, you cause irreparable damage. In other words, you can't fix it kind of damage. Okay. You've heard of cancer? Yeah. Yes, I have heard of cancer. Exactly. That kind of stuff. Prostate cancer can be a possibility with that. So that's the reason why, mainly the reason why you masturbate. So and that's, okay. that's why so, it, it's okay to do that because you need to get rid of that. Yes. Yeah, so masturbating gets rid of semen? Yes. yes. Oh, I And it gets rid that. of sperm too. Now here's the, an interesting thing. A normal functioning two testicled healthy man will ejaculate 40 to 50 billion sper sperm per ejaculate. In other words, when you when you get off and you're emitting sperm and semen, 40 to 50 billion can be in that ejaculate when you shoot. That's what they call it shooting. That's the reason why. Do you know what do you know what tadpoles are? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> That's what sperm looks like under microscope. Yes. Scope. You can't see it because it's microscopic. Yes. It's like real tiny, like little tiny mm -hmm. germs. But um. Someone's phone. Yeah, that was mine. No, that was mine too. Oh, maybe that was his. Yeah, go ahead. I for but it, it's it's tad tiny tadpoles. That's what right. Sperm looks exactly like tiny tadpoles. They're round heads, little piece that comes like off the back like tail. a little, little thing, and then a big long tail, right? And they squirm like that when they're going. Their job is to go from the the opening of the vagina, all the way into the woman's parts, which can be about a foot. Okay, but those those sperm are so tiny that trip is like driving from here to California. It's a very long trip, very long trip, and as long as they're inside the vagina and the vagina is still maintained, those sperm can make that trip. It, it actually takes them two to three days. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> two to three days to California to, to make a trip. <laughs> Sometimes to, it's a little bit quicker. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit quicker. And I don't want to get too far into it, but what I will explain is this. If you have an orgasm, in other words, an orgasm is when you, when you shoot sperm, when you shoot uh, ejaculate and, and semen. <clears throat> when you do that, if a, it basically comes firing out. Okay. Yeah. If a woman has an orgasm, which is her climax, is very similar to yours, but it doesn't feel the same. Okay. To them, it feels a bit different than the way ours feels. But when they 
you know, you have a, they have an orgasm. What happens is, is the, the thing that holds the baby is called a uterus. Yes. Okay. And at the base of the uterus is a thing called a cervix. Okay. Just like your asshole. It's a sphincter. It does this. Ooh. Right. And it opens. Okay. <laughs> right. It op- but listen, it opens and closes every time she starts orgasming. Okay. <clears throat> the interesting thing is if you ejaculate inside the woman far enough, the cervix will dip down and pick up your sperm and take it into the uterus. It'll grab it by handfuls and pull it into the to the uterus so that it can float up there and try and get a woman pregnant. It is the wildest looking process you will ever see. But it is human and it is exactly what we do every single time. And but normal. it's only if you're having an orgasm and she's having an orgasm. That's the only time that does that. What's that? Uh, what did I say? I don't know. What did you say? Uh, oh, oh, and normal. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Lucky yeah. lucky we can't see how it looks. Right, right. <laughs> um, you can. Actually, I have video of it. <clears throat> show I'm, me. I'm, I'm not, no, I'm not going to show you. Not now. Maybe in a few years or so. Um, okay. Some people do love the same sex. Okay. And many, many other people love the opposite sex. Okay. For about, I think there's like 7% of the population is gay. They love the same sex. Okay. The other portion, the 93% loves the opposite sex or just doesn't love at all. Um, what you need to understand is all of it is typical. It's normal because here's what the problem is. When you say somebody is gay, okay, you're putting a label on them. Okay. You're adding a label that says, oh, you're gay. You have sex with other men or you have sex with other women. Okay. That label's not fair because most people equate that with love, but that's not what it is. That label is just for sex okay if you had two guys that were really great friends okay like uncle dan and myself we don't have sex okay we do not never have never will (laughs) but what i'm saying listen but listen my good that is so good yes (laughs) yes that's not right yes but here's the thing it's like me and daniel right okay listen we don't have sex but we are really good friends. We know a lot about each other, okay? One could say we're as close as brothers and love one another, okay? Not like love, love, like, oh, I love you, but not like that. <laughs> oh, but just, yeah. But just, I would, take a bu- I would take a bullet for that guy, okay? If somebody came out with a gun and he didn't see it, I would jump in front of the gun and take a bullet for him, okay? That's what I mean. That's, that's a, a good friend. That's a very close relationship. Now, Dan will never do that for me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but... Uh. But see, that's the thing. We are very, very close. We're very tight-knit because we've been best friends for a long time. But we're not gay. Gay only describes the relationship you're in with someone as a sexuality. Okay? Your sexual act... You know, the, the thing that you have that you really want to have sex with one another is just what gay really sort of explains if you don't have sex then you're just good friends who love one another or care very much about each other that's really what it comes down to that's that's pretty boiled down to the the, the essential yeah and and now same thing with lesbians women can be very very good friends although highly unlikely because women hate each other but (laughs) women can be very good friends and when they are they're not lesbians they're just really good friends but if there's a sex a sex thing in between them, then yes, then now they become lesbians. See? See what I'm saying? Yes. And the funny part about this is, and the reason why many people think that their sex is not natural is because they don't have this they don't have the parts that are cohere with each other. Men have a penis, women have a vagina. Okay? Two men, that's two penises. It's like sword fighting. You know, I used to think a woman had a penis before. I when I, did I was too. when I, I was did younger, too. I I had one dream about um like at the elementary school, um when I was like kindergarten or first grade, I had a dream about two penises. <laughs> <laughs> a girl that had a penis and that me that had a penis. They were touching each other. Yeah. Oh, nice. There's names for that kind of shit, but and we won't go into that. The girl, the girls, um, 
a girl's uh, penis had a lipstick on it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. That is really cool. <laughs> the weirdest and just like the weirdest room ever and well, it was just it was just like in the middle of school time everybody was walking in and you know <laughs> did, is, did yeah. you in your dream in your dream did you think that girl was really pretty yeah okay <clears throat> i don't really remember but no, i'm pretty really. sure she was really pretty yeah well that's the thing and that's really what it comes down to when it's sex it's just sex and that's what they want to label they want to label sex you can't be a really good friend with someone and not have sex with them and be called gay. There's just no way it can happen. There's no way it can happen with a woman either. Two women can be best friends and not be gay. Okay? Or lesbians. Like me and Daniel. Right. Exactly. Dude, that's De- just close friendship, man. Declan, do you have a best friend? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. What, what's his or her name? Corey. Corey. Corey, okay. yeah. Corey yeah. He- so... He, uh, a few months ago, we just had a, um... Birthday, birthday party. party. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I spent the night at his house. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Does he go, does he go to the same school you do? Yeah. Does he live here in East Brim- uh, does he live in the same town you do? Yeah. Um, no, he lives near, he yeah, lives okay. in Lake Mead. That, oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Okay. that's, that's part of East Berlin, okay. East Berlin, isn't it? Well, don't, don't, don't say the name of the town. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, that's the thing, um... They're loved, but they're judged by the relationships that they have. And usually they're judged incorrectly. People can really be friends without being gay. That's fine. It's only a title that's been explained for people that have sex with the same sex and not the love that they feel for each other. That's what I'm trying to get to. Okay, that's the main thing. They just have their good friends. That's what they are. They're good friends. They're not gay. Okay. Movies and TV shows, these are just general little things here towards the end. Movies and TV shows that show sex are not really the way that it happens. Not ever. Okay? When you see a guy and a girl going hard against the wall and having sex, you won't be doing any of that when you get older. Trust me. I didn't. On the wall? Yeah. Like like he'll put her back against the wall and he'll be having sex with her standing up. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, up that, and down, up and down. Okay. That, that listen. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, listen. <laughs> that shit, that shit. In and out, in and out. Okay, but it does not happen. It doesn't happen. You see it in movies and TV shows all the time, but it doesn't really happen. I don't, actually, because I don't watch inappropriate stuff. Okay, okay, but you've seen movies with people starting kissing, and yeah, you make noise and turn away, but still, you've seen part of it. What what you see in movies and TV shows is just glamorized, okay? They made it look nice. They made it look like, a, oh, that's the relationship I want to have. And they do that for women. They do it so that women will have an interest in it. They don't do it for guys. Guys don't give a shit about that. They'll go and, you know, pound some chick in a bedroom, not give a shit about whether or not she's up against the wall. That's just the way things are, okay? It's not realistic. TV is not realistic, which leads me into the next one. Pornography. Poor. Watching people have sex. Is right. Right. Pornography is people like, having sex in some manner or form. Listen, pornography is fake. Okay? A lot of the times, I'm just going to say all the times because you're never going to discover what's real and what's not. Most of the, almost all the time, all the time, it's, it's a, a fairy tale. It's a story. It's a fake story. It, someone, it's just being told, except on a video. Right, exactly. We won't even go into amateurs. But um, the things that, you know, it's not the way things get done. Porno is not the way things get done. Okay? So that's not something you can rely on. But porn is mostly for people who are masturbating and need a quick release. Okay? Okay? When you're trying to find that spot to go and you want to be able to masturbate, you need to be able to go into a place. And let's say you are thinking about a girl at school and, oh, she's so hot and you're blah, 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 and then you get off. Okay, get off means you're, you're done masturbating or, or having sex, whatever. Then you're also thinking, um, okay, I'm thinking about that girl and she's really hot and all that, but this isn't quite doing it for me. I need something to stimulate me visually. Something that I can look at, like, oh, I can imagine that's me and her having sex. Right. And then that's what you end up going with when it comes to masturbation. The thing is, it's not simple to just start watching porn to masturbate. Okay? You need to learn how to do it from the ground up. So don't use porn to masturbate. I promise you, you're going you're gonna to appreciate that you, later you, on. You don't need porn. But I can describe porn... 
Should yeah. I? Yeah, go ahead. Porn is looking at pictures of naked girls and getting a boner. Like I did on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> See, he knows more than what. Did, did you know that? Did, did you know about um, the, the porn that I lo- looked up on my laptop? <clears throat> uh uh-uh. uh. I, yeah. yeah, I did that on my laptop. A few, yeah, I never told him about that. A few months ago, it it was just like we looked it up on me and Duckman looked it up. We got like a humongous oh, sure. boner, and we were like, "Woo!" <laughs> 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 okay, well, yeah. now you kind of know what that's about. Oh my god, porn does exist, but here's the thing: I don't want you looking at porn. Porn, porn, your dad said it right. Porn is fake. It is. Those, those people in those pictures and the, those movies are pretending. Right. It only leads down a bad path if you start using pornography, if you start looking at pornography. I'm not forbidding you from looking at it, but try not to do it. Try not to use porn because if you use it, you eventually start getting, you need more. And you need more. And you need a whole lot more. And now you can't just do it watching a guy and a girl. Now you got to watch it with two girls and a guy. Okay. <laughs> There's multiple things that you can be watching with that. And that's the problem. If you start doing that, you're going to eventually wear yourself out for each new thing. Okay? Something new. Oh, i got to watch these two lesbians. I can't do that. Oh, what's the reason why? Because now I'm starting to get worn out from watching that. I don't want to watch that anymore. Let's watch this. See what I'm saying? And eventually you're going to start craving weird shit. You're going to start wanting to watch weird shit, and you don't need to watch weird shit. A good example of weird shit would be like somebody shitting on somebody else. In their mouth. No, while they're naked. <laughs> yeah, in their mouth. Yeah, two girls, one cup. <clears throat> Seriously. You could, you, that is like the worst thing. If you get to a point where that kind of stuff is, you don't want that. Try to do everything naturally. Do everything naturally as it's, much as you possibly it's like can. like the human centipede. That's what I was thinking. <gasps> the human centipede. That's when are, when are you talking about taking a, a poo? Right. Well, that was a little bit different. Unfortunately, my oldest daughter at home yeah. here decided to let them start watching the human centipede, which was a total pisser for me. I, was I never heard of what is furious. it. Movie? He was. Yeah. He was like he was about. I to was like punch so someone. fucking mad. I was ready to kill her. What was it about? It's a horror movie. And it's about a guy, a twisted doctor, who decides to take several humans captive and turn them into the human centipede, which is basically a person in the front bent over, and then another person behind them bent over with their mouth sewed to the person's anus in front of them, and then another person behind them. Doing the exact same thing right. until you have a link of people, and then the first person eats food. Guess what happens? All the rest of them got to eat the feces coming all the way down. And, and and whenever he does the surgery, he cuts open their butts and yeah. he, he cuts their mouths and he rips their teeth out. And I told her, I told Didn't her, this, this is scare you. What? No. It was no. disgusting. It yeah. made fucking twisted, man. You've got to... Uh, no, I'm not saying it to anybody out here that's watching the show, but I'm, like, talking to Dan right here. Yeah. If you saw that movie, you'd probably freak out, all right? Yeah. I'm thinking I would. Yeah. I'm thinking I would I would be either scared so, or disgusted yeah. or mad. You sh- Nobody should watch that. I mean, you, you could, but that freaking... That show... I mean, that not that show. That movie was so... Yeah, yeah, take a picture. Huh? Yeah. Again. There we go. Get your face over the duck and then I can't see you. Oh, okay. There you go. Right there. All right, cool. All right, well, still, that <coughs> movie is just disgusting. And it, it, it was a bad idea, and she did it under the auspice that it was just twisted more than anything. Did she know what it was? She just, yeah. She, oh, yeah, we've known what the hell that she was, was for just, a long time. She was just like, oh, it was just funny, right, boys? And we were like, yeah, but it's also disgusting. Yeah. And then she tried to take away our video or the our other video games. Yeah, but yeah. Our, all, most of our because video, they were rated M yeah. for mature, Almost, and all it is is blood and guts. Yeah, all of it. Yeah, and the games are just, you know, they 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 they're not real looking or anything. They're just like cartoon. <coughs> anyway, yeah, cartoony yeah. looking. Needless to say, that situation was was quelled very quickly, and I was not happy. 
still not a happy camper about it. But uh, well, it's an understood situation now, and, and my daughter actually gets it that, yeah, they shouldn't be watching that kind of and, stuff. And, and these two seem to be taking it well. I mean, they, Yeah, they, they did, yeah. I mean, but so. I don't know what that means for down the road. I mean, that just means they could be wonderful children who grow up to be doctors, or they could be Kyle and Eric Melendez, you know, and <laughs> like and or, kill their parents. You know? Or maybe it's like me with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that movie, when it came out, scared me yeah and, and I, I was like eighth grade yeah yeah, yeah. And it scared them living daylights out of me yeah i saw it when i was 24 25 and it was like oh my god this movie is so kindergarten Stupid. yeah exactly you were in eighth grade whenever you were like 24 <laughs> no, no 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 when i first later. saw the movie i was oh. in eighth grade and then like 10 12 years later when i became 24 i saw the movie again and it, thought this movie. What is the sequel? Was it a sequel? No, it was the same movie. It oh, it was the same, same movie. Saw right. the same movie twice. Okay, so I, I have, should be talking in the microphone. I yes, have one more be. thing. One more thing to talk about, and then um, basically all it is is the nicknames for penises and vaginas. Okay. For a vagina is no, no, uh, no, no. Listen. No mind. I, Penis is member, phallus, cock, dick, pecker, Peter, prick, putts, meat, shaft, tool. Johnson, Manhood, Schlong, Willie, Wood, and Hardon. Daniel, Daniel likes to call me Willie because Your first my name is William. is William. Yeah. And they call everybody at school calls me Willie. Yeah. And Willie Jackson. survived. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing. And yeah. Wait. Don't well, don't do that. Don't so let them do that. You're saying that people people have names that are like Peter and Johnson. <laughs> Their yeah. real names are... Yeah. Look at my Johnson! Dude, okay, look at, look at my Johnson, everybody. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't, at, don't like, do that or you're going to end up on Megan's Law like, List. look at that, Peter. That's right. <laughs> Holy crap. Is that a... Balls! That, that Anybody is, got balls? Why wow. do? Okay, sh- That's a nine-inch Peter. Get it, give it down there. What is it with you and nine inches? Jesus. All right, here we go. Names names for vagina. Vagina, vajayjay, genitalia, clitoris, clit, which is actually part of the vagina. <gasps> Labia, which is also another part of the vagina. Hymen, hymen. which is the part that you... Yeah, hi, man. Yeah, the part that you break <laughs> whenever a woman loses her virginity. Womanhood, clam, taco, box, coochie, cooter, cunt, gash. Hole, muff, muffin, puntang, punani. Pussy, slit, yeah! s- snapper, yeah! snapper, snatch, twat, and vag. Okay, these are all nicknames for these things. Okay, not just this. This is a penis and this is a vagina. No, they had to give it ninety different things for this one and ninety different things for that one. Look at her taco. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're gonna be on this show again. I can feel it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, now this is it. Do you guys have any questions? Something maybe we didn't cover, or maybe we did, and you need some reference or some referral, or go back to whatever it was. Anything. I need some time to think. Just can can I say one process. more thing? Sure. These these names that we gave you for vagina for vagina, some women absolutely despise these words. So like right. the C the C, C word. C cunt. U, yeah. Women hate that word. I know. Right. But they also hate um, poontang pussy. Poon. Yeah. Well, I think maybe they generally accept pussy. Kind of, but I think it's their more derogatory term than I think they would use something cutesy like vajayj, you know, or 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 have it named right, right, exactly, yeah. exactly. Which, by the way, that's another thing. But you guys will learn about that soon. But you're going to name your your Johnson. You're going to end up giving it a name. Everybody does. Mine is Stanley because you know I had to build it a tool shed because when you got a tool this big, you got to have a shed for it too. Oh, I got to name mine. Mine's going to be. Dude, um, all right, don't be playing with your your stuff down here. Now. I'm going to masturbate it. now. No, everybody. no, no, you're not. You better knock it the fuck off. See you off, later. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Okay. In private, don't be doing that shit out in public. Okay, because you're going to get in a lot of trouble. And okay, here's the thing: sex talk you keep to yourself. Okay. You can make jokes. Like, Dan and I will make jokes about stuff, but we do it in the aus- in the auspice that nobody's around. We'll be out someplace, and we'll be going out to dinner or something, and we, some chick that looks, we see some chick that looks like a slut, we'll mention it. You know, my God, look at the fucking sluttiness on her. It's just dripping off. <laughs> slut coming out her mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Why, why is, like, why do they have, why does, like, penis and vagina have, like, weird names like taco and 
Because of what they look like. Because of what they look. Yeah. So you're telling me someone's penis will look like a taco? No, 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 no. no. That's a vagina. That's a vagina. Oh, a vagina looks like a taco. It, yeah. Uh, it, it oh, does. it might. It, it might. Yeah. It does. Yeah. See, it's kind of like like this when you look at it from up top. It looks like it's kind of like a. And the way except the, without meat. The way the skin <laughs> folds and I, skin folds. Yeah. yeah well, the, you're gonna learn about that stuff later. You don't need to know yeah. about that shit it's so much so, now. Uh, just like this, this whole I talk not about that. Just, All right, but is this is this? Are you are you guys satisfied with what, what you learned? Do you have any more questions? Uh, no. I am satisfied. And oh, wait, no, wait, no. I am no, I'm satisfied. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Okay, groovy. Well, you guys were great having a uh, yes, you on guys, guests. You guys have been great guests, yes. and you're both very smart, very smart young men. And I'm very proud to know you guys, and uh, I think your dad would be very proud. Should be very proud of you too. You guys are both good, good guys. Yeah, and you've learned a lot tonight. There's a lot to have to input into your brains and figure it all out. But at least you know the key things. Don't do it with people you know, like your family. Just uh, don't even have to do it right now. Don't Just rape. Wait. Don't rape. Don't rape. Exactly. And make sure you always protect yourself. Protection. Condoms. Condoms, Condoms. Is protection. Correct. All right, man. I think we've done good. That is it. All right, boys. You can head off now. Me and Uncle Dan will finish off the show here. All right. All right. See, good you, see you guys. Good job. See you guys. So, thank you very much. Okay, don't go upstairs and start talking about it and making a bunch of fun about it because if you do, Mom's going to be mad, so don't do that. I know. Does Mom even know about yes, this? Yes, she knew about it, and she wasn't very happy about it either, so... But I'm glad we did it, and I think we did a good job of it because you guys got it really well. That sounds so wrong. I'm glad we did it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm so glad. All right, man. Not that way. You know, I'm going to go up and I'm going to name my penis for No, there's the... (laughs) (laughs) He's going to write that shit on his stomach. (laughs) No, no, I'm going to write it on my penis. No, don't do that. Meet Gary with an arrow. (laughs) I named mine mom. Bobby De Niro. <laughs> I'm going to call it your mom. <laughs> yeah, no, don't do that. Your yes, mom. Your mom. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, Why all right. Go. Your mom? Go. Thank you. See you guys. All right, man. Thank you, guys. Next time. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> all right. Oh, my goodness. Very God. cool. Yes, yes, that was good. Yeah, close Please the door all the, the way. Door. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> Those are some great young men you have there. Why, thank you, sir. Thank and, you very much. I, and, and Declan, I don't know if he is. Uh, Reserved, or if he's yes. just doesn't quite understand as well as Liam. He does, but um, yeah, he is quite reserved. And he's a little bit more peckish and shy than I, than yeah. I, I think Liam's ready to go, man. I think yeah, I think he's pretty much got it figured out. And he I knows what's going on. So and, and uh, <clears throat> dude, I learned some things about myself tonight. Oh wow! That that uh, these these boys and and the things they're going through. Yeah, I went through too. Exactly the dream. Exactly. The, the 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 thinking a girl had a penis. Right. Same here. Right. I always thought and the interesting part for me was I knew what the female parts looked like, but I always thought that the penis laid into it like a like a hot dog bun. Like it would like a hot dog in a bun. It just laid there. You know, it didn't go in the fucking body. When I found out it went in the body, I was so grossed out. It was funny as hell because I was like I was doing this sex ed class and I'm like Oh my God, it goes into the body? And I'm totally freaking out, dude. I'm like, that's disgusting. They have a hole that goes in? Oh. And then they're like, well, they have a mouth. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so. and, and dude, you did a wonderful job teaching them. Well, thank you. I, I, I was a little bit nervous coming into this. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And you could you could be my daddy anytime. <laughs> no, I mean that as, a, as an absolute comment. Oh, okay. And comment. We are running out of time. <laughs> yes, man. we are. We are almost done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that does it for The Talk. Tune in next week when we, well, we'll have something else for you, but it will be just as good. But just remember, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, jeffanddan.com. Have a great night. Oops, I said that all wrong. Yeah. Have a good night (laughs) and a great week. All right, cool. Let's end off with this. Let me tell you about the birds and the bees And the flowers and the trees The moon up above And a thing called love Good night, everybody. Let me tell you about...